Это. 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 We know you gotta go, but we just wanted you to be on for the intro. Did you hit start? Yeah, it's recording. Hey, oh, listen. we're recording. My name is Bakelo. I'm Histio. I'm Zitro. Fuck y'all. And I got teeth. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. I'm here for a minute. Yeah. So, so where where are we at? We I are at the Diesel. He got team. I just blew him up. He's so happy. I just blew him the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what's happening today? We are here to watch uh, Whitney Payton. And here, let me Chris, take a seat. And Chris Calico and Dizzy Wright and a bunch of dope openers that I've been listening to. Yeah, so far it's been dope. Yeah, it's a, it's a packed crowd too. Fuck yeah, I can see it on the little... We're in the back back by the merch, and they got yeah. a little TV screen where you can see the stage. It's packed yeah. the fuck out. I don't yeah, even no, want to go over there. It's yeah. going well. It's looking dope. It's dope. Um, so, whoa, what are you doing? You're shit moving up. a table. And oh, the, camera. the camera's mounted to it. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm not going to be home till like, November 18th or 19th. So. Yeah, yeah man, we know. So, it's fine. That's why we're going to get this episode in now and let people know, even though the gathering episode is... You coming. fucked up. No, it's it's oh, it's so good though. It's so good. It's worth All the right. wait. Late. All right. We'll see. But uh, we'll see. We know you gotta go. You gotta you gotta guard yeah. the merch. I'm doing a bunch of stuff out here, man. You know. How, how you been enjoying this so far? It's been good. It's been yeah. good. I'm happy to be you know home for the night though. I bet. Yeah. Have you stopped back at your home or? Yeah. Well, oh, I, okay. I I literally actually planned to stay home today. Yeah. And someone else joined the tour. Um, but you know I showed my. Showed my value a little bit, and uh, so yeah, you know, I'm out here. Hell yeah, uh, dope. So yeah, I had to you know swap some shit out, get some shit, get ready. So it's one thing to pack for two weeks, and one thing to pack for two months. Yeah, no, no, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> so, no doubt. Yeah, but yeah, it's good. I'm liking it, enjoying it, loving it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're still safe and yeah, healthy. Hey, <laughs> you, you know, trying. Yeah. You know, we almost died first day before the before the first show. Tra- trailer God. fell off. <laughs> Every tour, there's something. It's something. There's yeah. something. But it's something great. <laughs> That's it's, not <laughs> great. I well, mean, nobody got hurt. I ended up on a reservation in the middle of the desert in my flip-flop. Hey, that looked fun. I know. I thought I was going to die. My mind was blown just seeing you on Chris Calico's reel. Like, holy shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> fake. You just <laughs> randomly looked at it, yeah. too? Oh, yeah. That's tight. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I like it. I fuck with it. But we're here. We're going to be fucking around for a little while. We're going to see who's going to pop in and out. The coolest thing about this is, like, you guys just showed up here and set up. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, I you did, know. Didn't ask at so, all. Sometimes <laughs> it's easier to apologize later than ask permission now. Yeah. You know, Even though I think you're supposed to do the other way around. But And oh, if you look like you're important or busy, no one really asks any questions. And we came in with all this equipment and just, right. like, right. didn't say We shit. have it's a like, camera. Yeah. Well, and you got the bucket hat. You look like you were hired for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just walk in like, we got a camera. How about okay. the lions? Uh, R.I.P. to Aiden Hutchinson's leg. Yeah. God damn it. Hey, but they're making some, they're, they're, they got some good signings up in the air right now. I don't know nothing about sports. They're just talking Japanese to me. Hey, Super Bowl, let's go. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we about to make Vikings uh, 5-1. Uh, I hope so. Cause you know, I was just in Minnesota. Minnesota. I had the to. last show. Minnesota. The last show I was in, I was in Minnesota, rocking my Detroit cap. Yeah. Hell yeah. I can't even begin to tell you how many motherfuckers came up to me, and they're like, "You know what, dude? I am gonna be mad if we lose. <laughs> like y'all, you got like, it. Like y'all deserve this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna be mad. Hell yeah. It's cool, man. Hell it's, yeah. it's nice to see like. No matter who we're facing, everyone rallies around the Lions, even the team we're facing, except for the Cowboys. They did. Well, we're America's yeah. new team, not the Cowboys. Yeah. Oh, yep. well. I'll, I'll explain this intro because he's lost. Yeah. The Dallas Cowboys are known as America's team for First some fucking team. reason. Okay. It's the Lions now. Yeah, we're America's new team. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yup. <laughs> Detroit Lions. <laughs> yeah, we're going up. Yeah, you know, we're going up. You know what's not fun? What? Sober October. Dumbest yeah. damn choice ever. And I don't like it. Right. No, it's not. It, 
it's not. It's good for your it's good for your health and well being, mental and everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've, you, I've been you, seeing the benefits. So, so. so you started and you're still going. Yeah. Well, I'm proud of you, dude. Good shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I haven't drank since Gorefest, so I mean, same shit. Vape. Uh, I, ha- smoke I haven't. Weed. I haven't drank I quit since all my vices. I haven't so. drank since ten minutes ago. I mean, yeah. So there you part go. of all of us. I dude. got I got a monster beast in my bag right now. It's about oh, to get yeah. cracked. <laughs> all, right. well, all right. Well, I'm gonna get back to work. All right. Enjoy the night. We'll be I'll, over here. If I'll you want to pop back over, feel yeah, free. I will. I'll come and go. We'll see random uh, surprises from Bank Low throughout the night. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, go tell tell the tour package to g- come on down. <laughs> Y'all should have been here before doors. Yeah, that would have been. I the had time. children to pick up from school. Should have brought them. <laughs> Call I, them out. Call I, them out early. I still had to pick them up, but no, it's fine. I don't like taking them out of school early. Well, that's good. That's good. So yeah. All right. Well, but, I'll be across the room awkwardly staring yeah, at you guys. Just right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> and Give it there, up for Big Low. Oh, there he goes. Off into the uh, abyss. Ether. <laughs> No. This is a very random setup that we decided to do here. Yeah, very impromptu. Um, we're not at our normal bar. We're at a bar. As you can tell. Yeah, there's a bar over here. There's a bar over there. There's a bar over there. There's a bar over there. There's a bar out that door. We're in a bar. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we're still within theme. Also not drinking this episode, as you heard before. I heard That's you. That. Yep. Speak for yourself. I'm drinking. <laughs> I, I, I'm cool with not drinking. It's I miss the weed. I did. There's times, especially at night when I can't sleep. Oh, do I want to get high? I, I quit that shit many, many years ago. Cold turkey, never look back. Here's my fear, because I know people like Bakelow who used. I used to blow heavy with Bakelow. Bakelow quit for a while, yeah. and now he can't smoke weed no more. Right. I am so fearful of that, like becoming my situation. Like, I mean, fuck it. Saves you some money. Nah, my blood type is THC. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Anyway, you can hand me my drink right there. Maybe. So any any hip hop news you got? Um, I, well, I don't want to talk we, about Diddy yet. We ha- <laughs> <laughs> we sh- we should. There's a lot to break down there. To Look at these guys. What are they? Very what, what slippery are you situation. <laughs> you Shout out to PJ behind the camera where you can't see. You, him. you what? Oh, okay. It's working. You want a mic? No? Hot mics. Hot mics, yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> PJ's going to get drunk and enjoy us. But uh, hip-hop-wise, uh, I wouldn't... Not not like actual music-wise, but like uh, when it comes to upgrades. Upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, I recently got a new studio upgrade. They haven't been put up yet, but got me some sound panels. Hell yeah. Now... If you're going to record, especially in your house, setting up a home recording studio or any studio, there's something called acoustic treatment. And what a lot of people think that is, is two-inch foam that they stick on the wall. Um, not, not saying oh, nothing about intro. Damn, I feel fucking attacked. <laughs> Listen, I, have, well, I, got a, I got a good deal on eBay. I bet. So. <laughs> I, bet. I, I got four-inch foam currently, but like I can admit, foam doesn't do it all, especially in the low end. Like... Foam does a great job handling like vocals and uh, like high higher frequencies, but when it comes to your bass, yeah, you, you need uh, something more dense to uh, to block that that low end to stop that buildup. So right. I finally got nine sound panels to fill my tiny little recording studio. Yeah, yeah. If I don't change rooms in my house, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still considering, still thinking about it. I'm trying to convince them slowly but surely. I like having a big bedroom. Yeah, but I don't know why. I live by myself, but, <laughs> but <laughs> my my entire loft is a fucking studio. <laughs> I I know. <laughs> Mine's a bedroom. <laughs> uh, but I gotta utilize all that space properly. But I don't I don't have a lot of equipment. I just I I got the bare minimum and I make it work. God damn right. Like some kind of fucking That's awkward. <laughs> some madman. <laughs> How I got that shit to sound good. How I get anything to sound good. I I got a good topic to bring up right here right now. What? So, speaking of upgrades, there's a new change that I've been talking about making when it comes to my studio. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, God. I'm going to be switching from PC to a Mac. 
I know he's gonna add in the booze. So that's why boo. I, I paused for the booze. Boo this man! I was like Roger Goodell. I'm gonna <laughs> lean into it. Uh, no, like I I use Pro Tools. He uses FL Studio. FL Studio was made for PCs. Uh, Pro Tools was made for Macs because they're racist. They work on both, but like <laughs> like like he said, uh, FL on a Mac is just a port. It's kind of yeah. the same thing with like with Pro Tools. Like that that's why everyone out there with a PC that runs Pro Tools, you know what I'm saying when Pro Tools be running uh, well, no, pretty no, crazy me, sometimes. It runs crazy because everybody has a cracked version of fucking Pro Tools. I do not, <laughs> and mine runs crazy. And, and you have the newest version. Yeah. You need more upgrades. Upgrade. I am to a Mac. <laughs> no. You need a better PC. Anyway, You're getting that Mac Studio. Whatever, whatever. It's gonna run fine. It's it it's probably whatever. will. It's gonna be. A I mean, beast. I'm sure it will. I just don't like the OS. I don't like it. You're gonna have what? to relearn all your little fucking key shortcuts and all types of shit. I I still have my keyboard cover from my uh, MacBook Pro. Oh my! It God. literally shows all the Pro Tools quick keys. It just, you put it over <sighs> keyboard and boop. I ain't gotta learn shit. I guess you're gonna have to just. I got me a a real template. (laughs) Yeah, that's a cheat sheet. (laughs) They got a cheat sheet, fucking uh, giant mouse pad for FL Studio. Yeah, they do. They do it for all of them. That shit's dope. They got actual keyboards you could buy, like, and instead of like a little cover, it's just that's how your keyboard looks. Yeah, and it'll show you like the quick keys within it. Really cool tool, actually. Hell yeah. I need to get better with my quick keys. I remember uh, back in school when uh, I obviously was getting tested on the shit and I had to know all of them. <laughs> Bro, running <laughs> Pro that. Tools was quick as fuck. It was just do 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 I never touched a mouse. I could do a whole session and never touch oh, a mouse. It was God. insane. Hell no. Nah. was dope. Can't do that now. Um, <laughs> Have you ever seen like those fucking speed beat makers with FL? No. Where these kids are just like... <laughs> Like, that's how fast their fucking keys are typing. They're just going, and they're making a beat in, like, a minute. Huh. Nope, I have not seen that. Oh, my God. This shit's unbelievable. I'll put a clip in. Yeah, that was dope, the, the sh- no. <laughs> I'll show you after this, but the shit's wild. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I can't believe they fucking just make it so fast, and they're so precise, like, with the, with the melodies and everything. But I, I just found out that in FL, like, when you're making beats, you can change the uh, the key, or the, the, not the key, like the, I don't know what the fuck it's called. But it pretty much puts your piano roll in a certain key to where you can't play a wrong note. So if you're making a beat, you can just hit any key and it'll be within the chords and it will sound perfect. Like, I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I did it and I was like, I was playing with it and I'm like, I can make beats again. And then on top of that, the fucking MIDI converter that they just came out with. Yeah. That you can convert any fucking string, piano, you know, whatever. Wow. Jesus. Um, <laughs> Whoever's on stage just chopped the fuck out of that mic. God damn. Uh, God damn. Uh, who's that, was, that, that guy? Was, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, but they use this AI and you can make like MIDI patterns just from the, the waveform. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm I'm about to start making beats again. Is that like an AI feature? Yeah. Bro, this AI shit, when it comes to like uh, uh, music making and editing and shit like that, is getting out of control. No, I think it's in control. uh, That's right. (laughs) I don't know if you can find it, but if you can, I'm sure we have a clip where I was totally against AI. I know we discussed this. Now, Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of coming around to it because I bought a few AI plugins recently because that's the new fucking thing. Yeah. And uh, even Waves. Waves has their own uh, AI EQ. And this bitch is nice. Like, I bet. It, it does I a really bet. good job. <laughs> <laughs> it does a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> but what, one of the reasons why I've been buying all this AI stuff is because 
I ran into a, a pretty cool. Not, oh, geez. Let me uh, rephrase that because uh, <laughs> that is not where I'm going with this at all. <laughs> I ran, I, ran, I ran it. Yeah, I'm just looking at my phone and shit like that. <laughs> he gets sober and just loses his fucking mind. You know, I gotta be high <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> anyway, uh, I came into a situation recently where uh, uh, a good friend of mine that I used to make music with, uh, Zachary, passed away. Um, and, and if anyone doesn't know, me and him used to do a, a rap duo called Z Squared. And uh, we, we made quite a bit of music together. Yep. And uh, that was back before we had any good equipment. It, at least when we first started making music. And then once we finally got some decent equipment, we would literally just, like, we'd sit in the studio and we'd share a bottle of whiskey. We'd get fucking shit-faced and, like, just shit out, like, a song. <laughs> and, and But we would do it while we were sh still shit-faced. So, like, some of the mixes weren't always on par. And we didn't release them all. Like, the ones that got released were okay. But uh, I ended up going through some files and finding ones that we didn't release and decided I wanted to touch them up give a little remaster and all that and uh so it while doing that i only had the mp3 yeah uh for the like rough mix you know what i'm talking about yeah and i didn't have none of the project files what i could have and what i should have done was stemmed them out w with that new speaking of ai that new thing featuring uh fl studio stem separator but what i wanted to do is uh the the old school way and just do a, a complete remaster to the the two track itself and uh so i bought a couple ai eqs um i got, I got a really nice uh limiter and shit like that and just went i still to town. say you try it again i i will separate it and yeah. then see what you can do i agree i agree i'm, I'm gonna take my time on it because i want it to obviously sound good and shit like that yeah and it's not like separating it and then mixing it is going to really uh, have any artifacts going on with the uh, with the files because everything is still there. Um, so when you're going to mix it, you know you're not going to lose any of that quality that it had beforehand. It's still going to sound legit. It's not going to sound all like fucking like digitally fucked up yeah. in the background. You know, it's still going to sound good. So I say just go back and try it because I I've done that. I've done that before. I was just doing that on that fucking uh undefeatable beat yeah uh because i just had the wave that i pulled from fucking youtube stemmed it out mixed uh, the the four like, tracks like i as, as an engineer someone who at least when i was going to school for this shit like 10 years ago um uh, i thought i was going to make a living by mixing and mastering for recording artists Come to find out, we're at an age where an artist can just spend 200 bucks at Guitar Center and they're cool with what they get. Yeah. But that's, People, that's only if they want to learn, though. Like, they can buy the equipment, but... They, they want to learn... I don't want to put words in people's mouth, but a lot of rappers learn the bare minimum. They watch some YouTube videos, they buy an interface, a fucking $200 microphone, and boom, they start recording. And a lot of times they don't reach out and try to upgrade their, their quality, whether it's by equipment or by going through an actual engineer that can mix and master their tracks better than what they're doing. Anyway, right. that aside, that, that aside <laughs> I'm going off yeah. on a tangent here. I know. Um, but yeah, back, back when I thought I was going to make money off of mixing and mastering, I would be pissed with this new AI stuff coming out just because of how well it's doing its I job. <laughs> I would be even more mad right now if I if I was a beat maker and I was a producer. Because, like, yeah, it, the, the one way that a producer could always hide their shit is by putting in uh, their tags right. through the beat. So this way, if someone does try to steal it, at least it's tagged up and people know who made the beat. Yeah. Now a motherfucker can just stem that <laughs> shit out, cut your tag, <laughs> tag out of that motherfucker. God. And remix your beat if they it's fucking like, want to. You like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Getting stems for a beat used to be a motherfucker. Yeah. Like, got pay. Not no more. Now, I don't know what they're going to do to combat that. I have no idea. Yeah. Because <laughs> that just seems like, you know, they can just do it with anything. So you would the, have to like the way you combat that is you don't put out your full beat anymore you do 30 second snippets but even then they're gonna fucking loop it yeah yeah Fuck. they they can loop the melody they can loop the kicks yeah. separately so they can you know reconstruct it yeah, yeah differentiate the kicks throughout the track they can just recreate it 
and essentially just sample your song. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what what can be done about that um, unless they put some type of like digital, like invisible copyright type deal, like some weird frequency that the human ear can't hear. Sorry, this dude is like potluck up there. Uh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah. This is the hook, but like, <laughs> I don't know. He was shopping. It's not cool. <laughs> we got distracted. Yeah. I told you, we've been listening to dope artists like all fucking night. Oh, no. This has been a great lineup for the show. Yeah. Definitely, uh, if we can, well, when editing this, we're going to have to find the names for the people that have been on stage while yeah, we're we got Yeah, we got to credit all that shit. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Man, I was trying to get on this shit, but for real? I was. But I got I, no response. I didn't even know I'm who like, to reach damn. out to. <laughs> I didn't even know who to reach out to for this one. I just I tried to just hit up Whitney directly, but I, I, <laughs> I was like, who do I talk to? Usually the artists on the tour aren't booking the acts. Look, I, but they can point me in the right direction. That is true. That is true. So, I would have hit up Bake Low. <laughs> yeah, I know. But he was so busy. We talked to the guy like at least once a, once a week, but, at the least. But he's gonna forget. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, find out about." Mm. All you gotta do, ask for a name. <laughs> Just ask for a name. <laughs> but no, it's all good. I'm here. We're doing the podcast here. So it's something. Hip hop happy hour. Hip hop. No shots. <laughs> you want to bet? <laughs> want to bet? I'll go order one right now. <laughs> hey. A bar bitch. <laughs> and shot. I rode with him as a passenger. <laughs> <laughs> passenger princess. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He's always passenger princess. You can hear yourself good? Yes, sir. What up, though? Okay, what up, though? All right, so you are on the Hip Hop Happy Hour podcast. Appreciate y'all. So who are you for the people that don't know? I go by the name of Henny Holyfield. Uh, out of Sacramento, California, you know what I'm saying? By the way, Las Vegas. Hell yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. Official opener for the Fly High Tour. We've been with them throughout the trip so far, and we'll be with them all the way to the end. How's it been? It's fire, man. Yeah. Fire. Nice. Nice. Man. Uh, you know, it's more than I've ever endured before, you know what I'm saying? We driving by ourselves, so it's oh, yeah. oh, okay. It's heavy. You know what I mean, right. yeah, I bet. that's a but, big trip. That's far distance yeah, right Yeah, there. we started in Vegas, and we've been driving ever since. We've been drove all through this country, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So... Man, I miss touring. I miss touring so bad. I wouldn't so trade it for nothing else in the world. Yeah. Man, this is where I'm supposed to be right now. Yeah, yeah. How Michigan treating you so far? It's lit. I like, yeah, I like yeah. Michigan. I mean, we just got here earlier, not too not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? So right. we didn't really got to see the city. But okay, we would love to though. You know what I'm saying? Any yeah. food recommendations? Any other kind of recommendations that y'all got? Man, we want to see what's going on out here. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. There's oh. a lot. The, the hard part about that one is, is we're all the way out in Chesterfield, technically, uh, for, for this one. So was Chesterfield connected to Detroit, or what it was the correlation? No, we're like almost an hour away from Detroit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're out. We're out with all the rich people. <laughs> rich people buy merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I ain't mad at that. Yeah. So. So, as for food, I don't know nothing, nothing about the the area around here. Uh, but like, if I don't know which where, where are you guys heading next? Uh, Indiana. Okay. I'm not sure where in Indiana. Uh, I can look it up real quick. Let you know, we are in Evansville. Okay. Well, okay. If you uh, if you head like south and you got to go through uh, Detroit, well, one of the cool experiences that I was late to actually like living in Michigan my whole life was uh, the two. There's two Coney Islands that are right next door to each other. You got American and Lafayette. Oh yeah, and downtown. Yeah. It started as one, and then they split up, and it's been around since the 50s. And they like people will go uh, to one and they go to the other and judge like who has the best Coney dog, which okay. is okay. <laughs> Another Michigan thing, like yeah. I need I need a Coney dog, and that's the only place you can get a Coney dog from. No, no, no. Uh, you, okay. Any Coney Island, we, there's tons of places that sell that in, okay. in Michigan. But like those are the the original spots that that started it. Yeah, I don't know because we got like eight hour drive from here to Evansville, yeah. and it's like we got to get up, crack right. dawn, and we got to hurry up and get there before sound checks. So I don't know if we're gonna have time, but shit, we're gonna try. So y'all y'all heading out there tonight? Uh, no, nah, man. Okay, okay. Nah, I was about to first say, thing in the morning. Now nah, we got to get at least a good night rest, man. You right, right, right. I mean, yeah. If you got time, you're, it, that's kind of on the way, I believe. Maybe I don't know. I, I'd have to look at the map, but 
Coney Island, though. That's what I need to look up. But yeah, any any Coney Island, really. If you just want to get a standard Coney, yeah. But if you want to get like a top-notch Coney, you got to go downtown Detroit. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Word. So, That's what I want. I want the top-notch. Yeah. I'm a chef, man. So, so you know. American Coney Island or Lafayette Coney Island. Okay. And if you got even more time, stop over at Mom's Spaghetti. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a cool that's, little spot. That's yeah, right. that's Eminem spot. Right, but yeah. is the food good? I don't know. I don't eat spaghetti, uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm selective with my spaghetti. The food's all right. I like the, the meatball uh, sandwich that they got there. Um, okay. But what's cool is the little shop that they got inside. They got, like, his little Robin costume that he wears in the music okay. videos on display. And, like. See, I don't yeah. mind going for that, but I, but if I'm going to sit down and eat, then I need to know that this shit going to be quality. Yeah. Or I ain't eating no my spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean... <laughs> I've, I've heard good and bad things about it, you know. Like, if you don't like spaghetti, the restaurant, that because it's technically like a little walk-up window, okay. that, and it's connected to an actual restaurant, that place is good. Okay. That'll yeah. Probably can't remember the name. I think it's like the assembly line or some weird shit like that. But it's connected to the restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that place is good. Word. Word. There you go. Yeah, we're going to check it out, man. There you so, go. What's been uh, your favorite spot so far in the store? Damn. Uh, well, Farmington started off real well. It was a whole lot of support out there. But we hadn't experienced anything else. So right. as of right now, where were we just at? Uh, Minneapolis. Okay. okay. Minneapolis was yeah. popping. Hell it was, yeah. It was good energy. It was a big old building. You know what I'm saying? Was it cold there yet? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. We got our big ass man. We brought we brought jackets for this weather. This little thin ass thing I got on right now right. is not, it's not <laughs> what we plan on wearing for this weather up here. You Hell know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm in Vegas, so it's right. desert. Right. So I, I, ain't, I ain't accustomed to this kind of cold weather out here. Me, me and Bake, we did uh, Minnesota in uh, the wintertime, and god damn was it cold. Yeah. I, I was not enjoying myself. I mean, I would but. do it, but, but, I, but I wouldn't look forward to it. Because right. if it's this cold right now, I can imagine what it's going to be later on. Oh, Fuck yeah. That. But it was lit though. You know what I'm saying? They showed us love. I mean, we we they showed us love everywhere we went, and and haven't treated us like a separate entity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying they've showed us, embraced us, just like they embrace the headliners of the tour. Right. So that's that's a good thing. Hell you know yeah. Saying? I mean, it's always crazy. Like when you go to different states and cities and shit, like you get so much more love than your home city. They say they say you can't. You know you don't. Yeah, your hometown don't really fully support you right. until you blow up outside, and yeah. and I'm experiencing that right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got love in my hometown, but but man, this, the, the love they showing us out here, yeah, it's a whole different animal. Hell yeah, I Th love it. Is this your first tour, or it's my first full length tour? Okay, uh, me and my guy Highway and a couple of other my homies, uh, we did like a, I want to say like ten cities on the West Coast. We did the West Coast Love Tour last year. Okay, and then he's been on the both of Mayday's previous tours. So nice. Uh, uh, the Believers Tour and the Black Lemonade Tour. Oh, shit. And so yeah. I bought on. I did Spokane. I did Kansas City just recently, like in July. And nice. so we went from that to, hey, oh, we yeah. are. We, we oh, have yeah. a full, full thing now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The grind oh, don't, don't stop. stop. Right, oh, yeah. right. Nice. I, yeah, it's dope, man. It's a dope experience being out here on the road. But, yeah, I mean, if you consider yourself an artist and you really feel like you want to do what this is, you better make sure you're ready for this shit because this shit ain't oh, yeah. for the slouches. You know oh, yeah. Saying? Most definitely. Can I, can I cuss on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sure. Wait, cousin, I, I was about to start drinking here. Right. Because it is the hip-hop happy hour. Hip-hop happy hour. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My name is originally Hennessy, so right. anything that, that has to do with that. The, the holy field and you being from Vegas, that, that stemmed from, from Evander? Or? Uh, I mean, it did, but it, but it's not I'm, not. I'm not a boxer. You know what I'm saying? But I was uh, running. I didn't want to run into no copyright. Issues. Okay, okay. I spelled my name exactly like the alcohol, and I was like, let me let me switch it up. The, yeah. the way I took that, is, when I drink Henny, I, I think I'm Holyfield. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> I never thought about my, it like my, that. My little yeah. self feel like I can box. Like, uh, <laughs> I just feel like I'm the people's champ, man. I'm Hell here yeah. for the people, you know what I mean? When yeah. I drink Henny, I'm taking a shit. Damn. For real, every time, bro. But, okay. I don't but know what it is. other alcohols don't do that No, thing? it's just Hennessy. Just the Henny shit. I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's, that, I, that. I've heard of whiskey shits. I have never heard of Henny shits. Yeah. Like, I've heard of people feeling like they can box off the Henny. I just ain't never heard of nobody saying, hey, <laughs> take a shit out for it. I don't know what it is, man. Hey. Oh, shit. Henny, Henny do me right, man. I know what I'm getting with Henny. When I start putting all kind of fruit flavors in my drink, oh, yeah. that's where shit get cloudy, and I, and I drink way too much. Yeah, that's why I just stick with my Monster Beast. Okay. I'm, I'm good with is that. alcohol in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a crazy combination. <laughs> it is. It really it is. It is. A yeah. dangerous one. That's but, crazy. Hey. The energy drink with the alcohol at the same time. But they took out the caffeine. And it's zero sugar. 
Okay. But what about all that other shit monster be getting in there? I like, don't fucking know, but it's good. Monster, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. They didn't say all that. <laughs> but how is it a monster if it ain't got no caffeine in it? It just tastes like a monster. Okay. It tastes like a monster. Okay. Yeah. Word. Word. That's crazy. That's different. <laughs> that's but that's, up, that's all I fuck with. I don't, this guy, he'd be drinking Twisted Teas all the fucking time. I'm like, fuck that. that that's my monster. beer. I don't like beer. So like, if beer. I'm going to take my. it slow or I'm going to drink throughout the day, I like my Twisted Tea. But that's, but if I'm like, it's like a tall can as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But but if I'm drinking like liquor, it's, it's drinking coke. Okay. I, I, I learned my lesson. I can't do Jaeger no more. Ah, well, um, you better get ready for Jaeger Slam. Uh, no, y'all learned your lesson last year. I'm not doing that again. Uh, we're doing it again. What is that? Come on, man. please inform me. The Jaeger please. Slam is a two day uh, event in uh, Indiana, and uh, last year we did it, and I almost made it the whole weekend without drinking Jaeger because that's like the big thing. And then someone found out I wasn't drinking Jaeger, and they made you make up for it. Yeah, and oh, yeah. we were supposed to film a podcast that night after the show. I was on the couch sleeping. Damn! Um, how many yeah. shots did you take? Uh, I want to say about six Jaeger bombs. Damn. Yeah. And Throughout that two day weekend, we polished off over thirty fifths of Jaeger. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's hundreds of people, though, right? No. Damn. That's that was like how many people total? I say about between fifty and sixty. Fifty, yeah. Thirty fifths is a lot of alcohol. Yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> between every artist that performs, someone comes on stage and with like ten shots and like just randomly picks either artists or whoever. Like, and you gotta take them. Yeah. Yep. And then there's no order of the set list. Every everyone's name is on this wheel, like a carnival wheel. And they spin it, and if it lands on you, you're performing. You could be a headliner, you could be a open. It don't matter. And no matter how many shots of the Jaeger, you don't. Yeah. Yep. It, it's it's <laughs> yeah. supposed to be like a big party. Like it, you're not supposed to take it serious. It's a like, good time. Yeah. Okay. It's a you good just time. go and have a good ass time. I, I did something called Fist Fest that was way out in the in the boondock somewhere, and I mean we weren't required to take no shots, but but <laughs> we was faded, faded. Out yeah. There. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was I was fucked up, but I performed still. I don't know how. I'll, I was first to perform. Yeah, he got lucky. Like, Come on. <laughs> he skipped that they shit spun the wheel. Yep. It landed on him. I was like, no, I ain't, I ain't even had my coat off yet. I'm like, okay. Ah, <laughs> that's the best way to do it, man. Get it out the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I personally don't drink before I get on stage, if I can help it. And then when, once I'm off, then it's, it's time. Yeah, that, that's how I am normally. But Jaeger Slam is they, the only exception. Yeah. Right, that's fire. Yeah, I, can't do it. Usually I like to have like a... Now it'd be a Jack and Coke, but back in the day it was a Jaeger bomb. Like an hour before, my, if I know what time I'm going on, if I could work it out like an hour before to like kill the jitters or whatever, word, word. get me a little more loose. But uh, I mean, not necessarily. I don't. I don't really get tore up <laughs> or drink like that before right. before going on. Yeah. No, I ain't getting no younger, man. So so the alcohol has a long lasting effect now that I'm yeah. older. I'm trying to stay young, so I keep. I keep. So you just keep drinking. Yeah, I just keep, keep drinking the same. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh man, but it's it's catching up to me. It's catching up to me. You know, Damn. I'm creeping up on that forty mark. Ooh, I don't already passed it. Oh, oh <laughs> man, I didn't pass it. So yeah, nice mornings after. Yeah, they hit different now. Oh no, I'm, I make sure before I go to bed, I'm drinking a couple bottles of water and some couple Gatorade. Bottles. Come couple on. bottles, couple bottles. Yeah. Right. You had yeah. any uh, night like that so far on the tour? Or? Nah. No, just chill? <laughs> no, it's been work. Because <laughs> we understand that this is a marathon. Yeah. This ain't no sprint. We not, I mean, if it was just a show or a couple shows, man, I'm turning up. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. But I got fucking, we, we, this is show number eight or nine. We yeah. still got at least 20 some shows to go. Yeah, y'all oh, are going yeah. to what, like mid-November? Yeah, November 17th in Vegas is the last show. Nice. Now, and that then show? Hometown. Yeah. That show? That's yeah. the one. Yeah. It's okay. That's the one. Okay. I appreciate y'all. It was, a, y it was a pleasure, bro. Man, much hey, love. Uh, uh, plug your your socials and shit. Henny Holyfield on everything, man. H e n n y h o l y f i e l d. Follow me. I just dropped a new album. It's called Glass Half Full. It's available on all platforms. Follow my guy Highway as well. H i w a y. Man, we just happy to be out here, being a part of all this stuff that's Hell going yeah. on. So, much Hell love, y'all. Yeah. Much Feel love, that shit, bro. Thank you. Hell yeah. And there you have Hell it. Yeah. That was dope. Give Hell it up yeah. for Henny Holyfield. Yeah, I'll, I'll put all his socials here at the bottom. Yep, we'll I'll, I'll, I'll link them in so y'all can go follow that man. That's just dope. I'm about to catch him on a little TV screen right here. All right, we're about to watch. Yeah. Hell yeah. Damn, so, all the way from Las Vegas. That's dope. Hell yeah. 
It's it's a grind. People think touring and shit is all fun and games, hoes in the fucking in the background and all that. Right. It's work. Right. Like you're eating fast food in your free time. Like he ain't yeah. even have time to go to a coney. You heard him. <laughs> like it is work. He might. I, I hope he does stop at a coney. I really hope he does. At least a little like right. cheap boy by just, the hotel or something. Just pull up in the drive thru real quick and grab one. <laughs> you know. The fuck What's you up, looking Joe at? Joe? The fuck you looking at? <laughs> Why? You wanna you wanna sit down? You wanna chit chat? Jojo I'll bling the fuck out today. I know. What do you mean what is this? No. Hell no. He, you know he likes to edit and post. Right. Sit down. Come closer. Have a let's let's have a good time. You all bling the fuck out today, Jojo. Look at you. I know. Yeah. It's making um, me jealous I, of I, shit. I, I wore it for Bake Low. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm going to wear my teeth. Me too. Oh, yeah. You guys are twins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Matching. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Guys it's a little longer. He got big teeth. So, right. we, like, talk, so we're not talking to nobody. We're just talking to each other. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're having a conversation. What are you guys drinking on? I am uh, participating in Sober October for some I got a monster reason. beast. Okay, so this ain't really the happy hour podcast no more, huh? For me. That- <laughs> <laughs> He's happy as hell right now. Look at that. <laughs> it I, is I quit, for me. I quit drinking. So, uh, That's a damn lie. No, it's not. For real? For real. I quit again? drinking. Yeah, again. <laughs> I quit drinking the first time for two and a half years. And then we got into that, uh, to that accident on... Uh, um, on the first, toys? no, the the certified psychos. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, with yeah. Killer and all them, and then uh, uh, when we got released from the hospital, we all went out to the bar, and I was like, "Yo, well, we like could have legit died. Like, I'm gonna have a drink with my homies, right? Like, celebrate life, kind of thing." Yeah, I feel and, that. And then I just started drinking like casually, and I was like, "Yo, I can just do this now. That's cool. You know what I mean?" Right. But then it's like you know, it never happened. So then I finally, like, I, again, like, what? Uh, I quit drinking June 1st. So June, okay. June, July, August, September. Now we're at four and a half months. Hell yeah. That's what's up. Nice. Yep, yep. I'm over oh, yeah. here talking about my two and a half week. That ain't, that ain't just for drinking. I, I'm over here exaggerating like crazy. I, I've already I'm more happy that I haven't smoked weed or hit my fucking tobacco vape all oh, month. Oh, the tobacco vape. Yeah, congrats. Yeah. That's <laughs> fucking, that, that one's hard, bro. It is. It really listen, is. bro. I'm over here staring like, at this geek bar. Like, like mm, listen. Right. <laughs> You're good. I, I quit smoking cigarettes, right? And when I quit smoking cigarettes, I just like, I smoked my last one at the end of the night, right? And then when I woke up in the morning, I was just like, I'll just be lazy and I go to the store. <laughs> that's how I, I that's yeah. how I quit smoking cigarettes. I was like, I just won't have any. Yeah. Right. I'll wake up with none. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I did. And then when I finally left, I was like, feeling so damn bad. I went and I got a, I got a disposable smoke stick. Okay. And I smoked them things for like probably a month. And then I was like, well, if I just smoke this thing, I might as well quit this and start smoking cigarettes because it's bullshit. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'd rather smoke a cigarette than a smoke stick. And it's what? Just change one vice for another? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I threw that away. But my fucking withdrawal from a month, just smoking those things for a month, like my eye was twitching. I couldn't. Like, shit was. Like, I had straight up. I thought, like, I was going through some real fucking withdrawals with that shit, bro. I was like, damn, man, I couldn't imagine if I smoked it for like a year and tried to quit. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, it's a motherfucker. But oh, yeah. No, I, I need to quit that shit. But between but, the, the tobacco vape and the weed, I, like I was telling him, like, I was barely getting any air. I was just smoking all day. Like, <laughs> oh, just breathing yeah. smoke. I smoke a lot of fucking weed. I mean, me too. Well, and I will. Wait. I, ain't, I ain't quitting that. I'll go back. I got I got to <laughs> correct like, myself on that. Yeah. I got to correct myself. I don't smoke a lot of weed. I smoke, I smoke weed often, but it's never like a lot. Like I'll pack up a bowl and hit it twice, set it down, and then like twenty minutes later I'll pick it up, hit it again, maybe tw- set it down. That, like so. That's me. Yeah, I, I don't get myself stupid, stupid yeah, high. Yeah. But I, I smoke yeah. throughout the entire day. Yeah, throughout the whole day I yeah. smoke, but I'm not like rolling up a joint every time I want to smoke. I'll no. hit it once or twice, set it down. That's crazy. Yep. You know, I might hit it every fifteen minutes or something. My lungs you know what could I mean? not handle Keep that up, shit. But yeah. shit. 
That's too much. That's too much smoke. The the weed vape pens kill me, man. I only smoke them when I'm at places like this where you can't smoke inside. But yeah. I'll wake up in the morning like. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the next thing I want to completely cut out. Like I'm gonna go back to weed and shit like that, but. I need to stop with the, the weed vapes, too, because, one, yeah. it's too convenient, so it, it allows me to just smoke the entire day. And, two, oh, yeah. like you said, they're, they're a lot harsher on you. Like, I, I feel a sting in my nose sometimes or, like, the, the pain in the chest or whatever. Like, And at least, you know, with uh, uh, weed and with cigarettes, there's enough research on those. that You know what those are doing to you if you decide to do them. Yeah. These, these vape pens, both weed and, and nicotine vape pens, you don't know some of them chemicals, that the facts, you know, because it's totally different. Yeah, There's a lot of thing. different shit in there, man. Not really. No? No. What you mean? I've, I've researched this before. Really? Well, let's talk about it. Enlighten me. There's only like four ingredients. But you're also like putting water vapors into your lungs. And you're breathing it back out. Okay. You need to quit them things. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you just walked through fog? True. Detroit that, sewers. That doesn't, that doesn't really... Do you ever stand over like a that. Detroit sewer like, Hey, yeah, look at me, not realizing what the fuck is. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing in shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, get God this cool damn. picture, dog. Right, okay. <laughs> Looks fresh. Yeah. I don't know who's next. Who's next? This guy, right? Yeah, Henny Holyfield. He was just on the podcast. Yep. Oh, was he? Yeah. Is that why you got his merch booth in there? No. No. That, we just, just wanted to set up like right that. here. Oh. <laughs> Where's the green screen? I wasn't going to bring it. Oh, God. Why? Right down the street. Hometown. It's not right down the street. We don't need to fake our background when we're trying to make it like we're at a concert. Like, oh, we don't okay. want a fake background. I thought you guys had a cool, cool effects in here. Yeah. Yeah. You can still add that in. Oh, I yeah. thought you needed a green screen for that. For the background, yeah. Nope. But the effects and shit that he adds, no. Oh, well, I don't know. Yeah. See what I know? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> but uh, I do plan on getting like a backdrop for shit like this. Yeah. Okay, okay. I but mean, we don't have to put a green screen. They're cheap and small now. They're like fucking tablecloths. I know. That's I know. So That's why crazy. I want to get yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But I want it to look like our green screen. So I want it to have the same background. Oh, as like what we use. Yeah. Which, that would be dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You should just uh, travel around with all full, like, heavy ass appliances and shit. Set them up in the background. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I mean, you want to be our guy to carry all that shit? <laughs> Paying me? <laughs> be our guest. <laughs> This shit's a pain enough to carry inside. <laughs> if I gotta start carrying microwaves, <laughs> <laughs> fucking coolers, you gotta, shit. you gotta set up a whole bar. Right. Right. Uh, it's a happy hour, right? We gotta mount up the fucking bottle racks. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> no liquor today, just just monsters. Monster beast. That's are those. Obviously, they're good if you're drinking it. Yeah, I mean they're strong. Six percent. Scary berry. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Beast on leash. Tastes just like a monster. Like oh, you, you can't got, taste yeah. the alcohol. Smells cherry. It's it's a bunch of berries. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the berries. How is everybody's uh uh what has everybody been up to, man? Like <laughs> Yo, been, what do you mean? What gathering, right? Last time I seen you guys. Yeah, yeah. We, we got we got the gathering episode that's airing before this one. I wish we had film of your little freak out that night. That was great. Oh, I'm Who's glad. Freak out? I'm freak glad y'all freak out. <laughs> Wait, what'd you freak out about? We took mushrooms and uh. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, and he wanted to he go. He was having a bad time. <laughs> I thought he was having a good time. <laughs> he wanted to go home. He wanted yeah, to leave. I was, like, I was having a great time, but I was I was so hyped and so tired at the same time. Like, yeah, you were like, I gotta go home. <laughs> I just want to go home. I just but want to go to bed. I'm yeah, tired. That, that was your thing. And yeah. like, I even looked at you. I was like, you ain't going to bed, bro. You're like. Yes, I am, bro. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you didn't go to bed, did you? I did. Oh, did Not you? at first, no, because this motherfucker started video chatting me making a sandwich. Well, I was hungry. So I think I, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was with you guys. Right? I was yeah. on the golf cart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hanging out that so I was all fucked up cooking. <laughs> you were there by yourself, too, weren't you? No. <laughs> no, who was uh, with PJ, you? PJ was there. Sarah was there. Andy got there, oh, too. Oh, okay. So you had company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it was all good. Is that but, mine? Uh, no. Are you turning me down? Oh, no, hell. that was me. <laughs> Do I hold the microphone right? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear yourself? I don't know. Can you hear me? Don't cut it like that. 
Don't. He's not yeah. rapping. He can cup it. When you cup a mic, it still changes the tone of the well, mic. Well, you're putting it close to your face. If you just talk like this, it's fine. It still <laughs> changes the tone of the mic. <laughs> Asshole. He went to college. I don't know. <laughs> I did too, but, but you're I the only one that, one semester. But you're the one that does everybody's like, uh, 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 <laughs> say what the name of your cl- uh, course was again. You mix and master everything, though, don't you? I do. I mean, so does he. Oh, do you? Who yeah. does more? Probably me. <laughs> and you got the degree? Yeah. How's that work? I stopped making music for like two years. <laughs> <laughs> He's slow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I can knock him out pretty quick and he don't get it. <laughs> yeah. I can knock him out quick. It's just whenever I start to do it. He's very by the book. Was Bakelow on here earlier? Yeah. yeah he Did was, he talk he, about his album yet? No. No. Damn. Why? Because I want to know. He hasn't talked about it yet. Oh. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I mean, well, I mean, I was out with him on tour and I seen some of the stuff that he had but i yeah. i don't know when he's planning on doing any that, that lyric video that he has coming out is it out yet no it's not out yet no nope. um uh i shot that that was fun to do even though he only used one scene wait you shot with, a lyric video yeah what does that with, mean? with that camera we shot a regular video and in the background it says lyrics oh so it's a music video with, just with the words in it's it? just it's just one scene but he has it's just him rapping in front of the camera but all his lyrics are behind him. Okay. All right. So, and so it's he, like a he still edited shot. It. Yeah. He edited it, but dope. you know, it, it was super dope. Super fucking dope. I'm glad I'm glad the way it, it came out. Well good. Know. Good. Good. Yeah, I didn't so. know if he had a plan for his, his release. It, I don't know that yet. That motherfucker is a dope album. Yeah. Like well what I've heard I'm you know, out on the road with no, him. This yeah. is this is gonna be something definitely different for him. But it's his his best shit ever. So what's going on with y'all's work? You guys got music? You 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 got, you're in a group with Bank Low, right? I am. You guys. He uh, he while he was on uh, the other tour, uh, the Shaggy tour, he sent me a, like two or three beats for our next project. Okay. Um. So he's making the beats for it instead of us buying the beats like we did for the first one. Yeah. And then uh. I mentioned it earlier on here, but uh, a friend of mine passed away uh, last oh. month, and me and him used to make music together. So I've been digging through like old files, trying to remaster shit, and like, especially like songs we never released and shit. Give it to him; he's faster. <laughs> 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 he's not I was, wrong. <laughs> I, I was just playing, man. You, talk, you talked about a fun die, and I had to lighten the mood somehow. <laughs> I was like, we gotta laugh. Oh. oh. Man, no, but that's dope that you're bringing some of that shit to life. Yeah, I mean, but me and him had talks like back, uh, back in like June, July, where we were supposed to link up and work on new music, and we also talked about like fixing up a lot of the old shit that we did and never put out. And well, now you get I, to yeah, do it. Now, yeah, now I'm gonna keep that going. Oh, try yeah. to throw a little something together. At least get some of his music out there, like on Spotify and shit, like shit that he used to talk about. Like right. finally get that done. Right, right, right. Oh yeah. That's what's up. What about you? Album? Uh, I got a mixtape coming very soon called Red Hill Zone. I've been okay. talking about it for a while. I don't know if I've talked That's to you about it. That's the detox. I mean, you probably, bro. You know how fucking weed memory I have. Okay, so bro, my memory is terrible. I don't remember names. I don't remember shit. So in a bro. nutshell, it's called Red Hill Zone. Okay. All the beats are Sonic the Hedgehog based beats. <laughs> so it's gonna be super fucking dope. I got one more track to do for it. Just okay. one more, and I'm okay. adding this at the last minute. I was not gonna do this. Like one more but, track to record. Yeah. And, but is everything else all done? Yeah, everything's recorded. I just got to go back oh, you, and mix it. Okay. So So the album's like halfway done. It's more than halfway. It's okay. like 90% done. So, you got him on the podcast yet? Not yet. He, he's he's popped in and out before. <laughs> he don't want to talk now? Fucking loser. <laughs> he's talking. He's just a silent creature. That's fine. I love... I love Trunch. Trunch <laughs> is my favorite guy. <laughs> Trunch. For those who don't know, I went on the Rock the Doc tour with him. Uh-huh. And uh, for like the first week and a half, I called him Trunch because I couldn't remember Lynch. Oh, my God. <laughs> I told you my memory is shot, bro. I can't remember shit, dog. So I, so uh, uh, when I started actually finally remembering it was Lynch, he was like, no, nah, you got to call me Trunch. <laughs> but I mean, Trunch, right. he liked that too. He's like, Trunch is a dope name for, 
Like, yeah. if you're going to forget my name, at least you gave me something dope. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. like the trenches, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, that's dope. Right. That's some hood shit. I'm surprised nobody got a name like that. That's my name for him. I mean, in the rap game. I'll be I'll be Big Trench. Since everybody's <laughs> little something there, out there. Right. There's a trench. Trench, yeah. What? Trench. 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 Yeah. Naughty by nature? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say there's a big Gretch. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh my God. Don't do that. <laughs> Michigan governor? <laughs> she spits bars. <laughs> what, when's your album coming out, JoJo? Mine? Yeah. Yeah. It's tomorrow. Okay. What's you it called? I don't have a name yet. Shift Shaper. <laughs> <laughs> Shift Shaper. I'm just going to go and record. <laughs> I'm not even going to no, say that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that shit will get clipped so fast. <laughs> oh, fuck. I saw it coming before it even came. I was like, don't do it. <laughs> oh. No, man. Everybody thinks I'm a rapper and all that shit. You know? And like... I mean, I, I heard them couple layers that you put on, oh, yeah. uh, on Bake Low shit. Yeah. Did it sound good or something? Well, I mean, I, you know, I They I were all laughing it. at me. Why? I don't know. Because I don't record. It was the first time people hear me on, like, that's probably what it was. Recording and shit. Yeah. Dry, you know what I mean? Dry. Yeah. Because I made them play it back to me dry with nothing behind it, just me. Because uh. I wanted to hear how I sounded. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody was laughing. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, but with everybody else, you know, it, it works. Dope. Hell yeah. yeah. You know? That was the only other time I think I've been on something other than killer shit. Oh yeah. You know? You but, ain't never thought about, like, doing your own shit? I mean, I do think about it, but it's like, I, well, I'm 39 for one. So? I, like, I would have to build, like, a whole entire studio because I'm <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm really... <laughs> Alright, so we'll bleep that. Why? You can't say <laughs> anymore. So I gotta bleep that too. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, we can't say that. We can't say none of the uh, offensive words. Well, but I'm talking about myself though. I know. That's still unacceptable. Uh, I don't take the chance. Well, Alright. Well, cause why I say that is because like um I can't like read and write. Like I can, but I can't. Like you know what I'm saying. I know how I spell some shit. Don't give me nothing that's difficult to spell. I can't do that. I can't spell difficult. You know what I'm saying. Like not that. But, but it like, ain't no fucking spelling bee, bro. You just write but, your own shit the way you want to write it. it. I mean, I can read really good. Like I can read shit, but I can't read it fast. But I can read, read. You know what I'm saying. But if you write it, but you if, can read it fast. But no, because like I'll be like da 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 da. da. What did well, I, I say? Didn't... Okay. That and happens. then I won't be there. So and I'm then like, you go Yo. back and you do it again. But then I'll be like, what was I even talking about? I'm re- I'm I'm dumb, dog. Like, <laughs> like my mind, like when I tell you, like I'd be forgetting shit. Like I didn't know his name for 10 days. Just talk to text it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know how that goes. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to record him bar for bar. One bar at a time. Right. No, I, I always <laughs> say it's like, I don't want to be like, yo, I'm, I'm going to be great or nothing like that. But, like, I would have to record, like, Lil Wayne. Just press record and just let me just spit shit into it. And then we'll go back. We'll cut whatever's good. We'll fucking, Get a you whole know album I mean? done in a fucking afternoon. Right. <laughs> Just go. But I mean, I, I can't just pick up a mic and just start spitting. I would have to be in the mood. I'd probably have to start drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just to get there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, or, or just be by myself. Like, when I'm driving around DoorDash and I'll rat. Yeah. But I don't want nobody to hear me. <laughs> All right. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be through something dope and I'll be like, damn it, too bad I wasn't recording that. Right. What did I say? I don't know. Oh remember. man, that happens to me so much. <laughs> uh, the worst thing for me, I'll be like laying in bed, dog ass tired, and I'll think of something. I'm like, oh, that's dope. I'll remember it. No, you don't. Oh, Fuck no, I was I don't. just about to say the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, yeah, I- I'll remember it. That was a dope line. Yeah. There's no way I can forget that. Fucking forget it. Hell yeah. Don't, don't dare take a nap. Right. No, so now I've just been getting into the habit, like, when I think of something, no matter how tired I am, I'm jotting that bitch down. I got so many single bar lines in my phone. That's what, yeah. Fuck. It's ridiculous. How do you put, like, how do you just, like, come up with a line and, like, 
how do you know what kind of beat to put it to, like, in the end of it all? Like, you just got, like, random, like, bars in your phone and shit like that, and then you use them, and, like, how do you, like... When I am when I find a beat that I want to use, I, unless I already have something that I know I want to talk about specifically, if I'm just vibing the beats and I'm fucking around, I'm scrolling through all my, my notes and, like, seeing the the one lines or like the the half finished verses and like I'll, I'll stop and if it happens to fit on that beat and sound sweet then so we'll I'll see it. what I can do we'll with spit it. it like, to that beat and if it works right. we're like okay we got okay. Here. Yeah. so like kind of what like when you write a verse to nothing you kind of already writing it to a tempo of some kind of beat that it would go like no it, not necessarily well, well it can't for, just go to anything for right? me for me I don't write to nothing I have to write to a beat okay but when those random moments where I am just jotting down one-liners, I'll see if those one-liners will fit that beat that I'm currently writing to. Okay. So, and if it works, it works. If not, then I'll fucking keep going. So you never wrote a song, like, to no beat before? I've only done it one time, and that's when I was locked up. Okay. You have? I'm going to take it. Yeah. So how does that work, then? How do you... Do you already have a tempo to your to your... Like I, I, I know I know how it should flow and yeah I know I know the tempo my, my cadence and like okay. it's in my head when I'm writing it and then when I'm going through beats I'll, I'll keep spitting it to different beats when I find where it fits I might have to go through and make some adjustments depending on the beat but like I, I, it's ninety percent done at that point because that's like another thing like because people will just freestyle and write to like YouTube shits yeah. And it's like, yo, well, how do you find something that you can actually, like, like your own beat that you purchase or, you know what I mean? Like, how you find, that's just a YouTube beat. You can't just chalk that unless you make a mixtape and, you know, do that shit. But. Yeah. I, I remember I, I also used to do this weird thing to, like, practice and kind of, like, listen to different things to, to, to test the waters. Like, I, I'll have a song. I already have the beat. I already have everything written. Shit, I might even have it recorded. But I'll go through beats and I'll rap like that to a different tempo beat and I'll like slow down my verse and, and like rap it to this beat and make it fit. And like just try to do that and like because there's ways where you could like take your pauses and like extend certain words and you yeah. can make shit fit if that, you that was my next question. Like if do you like Alright, so if you're spitting something and it's like a da 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 can you change that flow of the same lyric? Can you do a da 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 well, yeah, you would probably have to, you know, <laughs> fix that lyric a little yeah, bit. You might have to okay. make minor, like, take a couple words out, like the, your your conjunctions, your ands, your does, and like the shit that your filler words. Okay. Because like, you know, you see people being like, "Yo, this is how you would sing country grammar, country, or whatever." You know, like right. a country song, and they yeah. like change it and just spit yeah. it differently. Yeah, or whatever, yeah. yeah. Same same concept. You know, just just switching up very minor things to make it fit what you want to do. Look, a, a good example of that, uh, my verse on uh, hit, on Nain Rouge for uh, I'm, good. I'm Good, I wrote that to a fast beat, and like a rich, and I had a hard time recording it <laughs> because I was used to my, my fast tempo, and but it, there was a way to make it work on that beat, I just had to slow it down, and, and I made it sound dope. Yeah. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope this conversation is good for the viewers because I don't hear these conversations. I'm sure it will. Yeah, we got some good content here. Yeah. Look, we fuck around all the fucking time. Fuck yeah. Like, we sit here on our phones for like five minutes. We're going to no, have to dude, cut that I, out. Like, <laughs> right. like when I get on camera with these mics, I try to think of things to ask people like and talk about that like ain't just always. Right. Yeah. Ain't the same question you're going to get well, no, every time. Despite all the episodes, I don't think we ever really discussed like writing to not no. beat or like yeah, that whole thing it. right there. I don't think that we ever brought one. that up. I, I mean, I've never seen an interview where, where somebody like asks an artist. Like, obviously, this ain't no interview shit, but like, right. I'm a question ask him off when I can sit down with a microphone. Yeah. I'll ask you. Your, your show. <laughs> like, yeah, He's questioning us. But, like, well, I'm but hey, you we're know supposed what I mean? to be asking the questions here. <laughs> but like, but no, like when I watch fucking podcasts and shit, I'm like, yo, I want to know these things. Yeah, now I yeah. get the chance to be on that podcast. Like, yo, these are the things I want to know when I'm watching shit. You know yeah. what I mean? I want to know how Eminem fucking writes his rhymes. Me too. Can Man. he just? Can he just really sit on a bus and just do 
<laughs> I don't think he sits on the bus no more. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, he sits on his tour I, bus. I seen an interview uh, with that song because he wrote the song for the NFL or whatever. And I seen yeah. this little clip of an interview where they're like, yo, so uh, like you just wrote that chorus and the person was like, I want this as the whole song for the NFL. That's how that happened. And so they contacted Eminem. And they're like, well, how long did it take you to actually like finish that song? He's like, I don't know, eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was, <laughs> like, yeah, that's yeah. disgusting. He's like a right. human computer. Yeah, that's insane. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't do that. Well, I mean, granted, I don't need no guns. I wrote that on the way home from the Oklahoma gathering, and uh, that only took me about twenty minutes to write the oh, whole song. Okay. So you're in the zone. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you get that zone, you can shit. A, fast, you can, yeah. yeah, you can just go. Fastest song you've written? I think so. I what think so, because I, I had no distractions. I, I'd say it's in that 20-minute range. I can't give an exact number, but well, yeah, I, I've definitely yeah. wrote something real quickly. Just being in that zone where I just it just comes to you. Yeah. Like, each where you just can't stop. You just go, and you go, and next thing you know, verse one's done. All right, and you start over here, and, like, you just it just happens. Right. And, and then there's other ones where, like, I, I wrote a majority of the song, and then I would go back, like, you know, either a few days later or a couple weeks later with a fresh mind, and... Uh, I would go back on what I already wrote, make changes, and then I'd continue on with what I did. And like, especially when I was first starting off, like it took me a good, good six months to write uh, "Smoke Marijuana" just because I, I kept Damn, making adjustments. Um, I were, didn't, I didn't have a beat e- either when I wrote that song. I, I knew how I wanted it to go in my head. He didn't need a beat. It was fucking. Well, yeah, <laughs> right, but like, right, 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 but you explain right. to you a beat maker you want a hip hop version of Akuna Matata, you can get twenty different tempos. Like, oh, yeah. it ain't gonna be the same as right. your fucking Disney. You guys ever write a rap and then forget how you rapped it? Fuck yeah! yeah. Oh, is that the worst? <laughs> that, that's why uh, I remember watching an interview with Tech Nine, and he had a, a little Sony uh, voice recorder, and he would like record himself like immediately when he like had like four bars. He would record four bars at a time on his little thing. So this way, he because he changes his fucking flow so much throughout a verse, he he would record it in pieces and play it back so he knows like how he's saying certain shit. Yeah. And I'm like, that is genius because yeah. there's so many times where that's a fucking issue. Yeah. I want to say that probably happened to me recently. I can't think of what track it was, but I know that just happened to me recently. <laughs> it was so bad. I had you- to change up the whole shit. No, no, the, the, the track that me and you just did. What if I quit? Yep. It was that. Yep. I had to change the whole shit because I forgot how I flowed it. And I'm like, fuck, how I can I do it? I never remembered it back. Did you lay it down the new way and then remember how you No, it? no, I never <laughs> remember the old way. I never did. <laughs> but but I made it work. I, I, I did two different versions Hell of yeah, it. Hell yeah, did. Nice. <laughs> and, oh, we're doing it now? Okay. What you said, blast this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so so who's next? Whitney? Okay. So I'll give you your cue of when to do these, and then on the last song, I'll give you your cue of when to do these, bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, have y'all been keeping up on Mudang? Who? Mudang. The fucking uh, hippo. The hippo. Yeah. Mudang. You know what Mudang means? Bouncy pork. And it's this baby but hippo, hippo and pork. it has consumed my life. A hippo isn't pork. I mean, okay. I don't know nothing about what he was talking about. Tell me how you like that food. Wait, you Moo-dang. said but they're done do what? It's like that food dang song, but it's oh. it's mood dang. Oh. <laughs> so they're jock and killer and blaze? Yeah, they're jock. Hey, mood dang is just jock and killer. It and was food dang first. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Well, I guess uh, we're going to postpone this and come right back after we get done doing this thing. Peace out, y'all. Um, so I'm going to go hang in the crowd and watch them do their thing up there. Yes, yeah. Sir. Whatever and, they're uh, doing. We got to hide our equipment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, you <laughs> don't. He's right here. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. We got we got stretch. Or, or, uh, or trench. Uh, trench. Trench. <laughs> Right, okay. Trent? For sure. So we'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue this Peace. shit. This is going to be a long fucking episode. God damn it. We lost footage. Sorry.
<laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Not the first time. If it doesn't right. exist and it really happened, won't be the last time. The thing either. is, my, my computer decided to force an update and... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just, by the way, fuck your footage. <laughs> just, just shut the fuck down. I ain't never had that shit happen on this computer. It gave us a false ass time countdown too. It's like right. five minutes. Right. It it's like five, that, four, that, three, two, one. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, the shit that we talked about was fine. It was irrelevant. It was, uh, Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we talked about it, it Istio was, and his 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 uh, lack of music coming out. Right, his lack of music, and then music <laughs> two that he, songs this month <laughs> that he undug from his fucking hard drive. Yeah, and then we talked about Red Hill Zone Still new. and how yeah, that's yeah. almost done. Yeah. We got Dug one out more from his hard drive. That's a big contrast. Like we have one album that's not even started really, one album that's completely done, except for one track. You know, we're giving you shit right now. I know it's fine. But look at and in the meantime. My shot got delivered, so hold on. Yo, happy hour. Sober October. Yeah. Woo. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. I got your shit right there. Fish. (laughs) Ice Ice and White Claw. Yeah. I mean, I remember my White Claw days. (laughs) Me too. too. (laughs) I, I upgraded to Monster. Oh, boy. No. Okay, here's a. That's not funny. It's actually kind of sad. We went to Gore Fest. I was rooming with with Zitro. He's like, "Yo, do you want one of these monsters?" I'm like, "Yeah, fuck that. I got Red Bull." His fucking monsters are alcoholic. I had no idea. I'm like, I don't want a fucking energy drink. I got Red Bull. He's over here drinking, and getting they, smashed. They taste I'm good. like, what the fuck? So yeah, apparently, Monster has fucking hard energy drinks. Yeah. So yeah, it's the beast. Uh, oh, so I, I was this this many years old when I figured that one out. They're so I good. Like, like, why do you keep offering me your, your energy drinks? I don't understand. <laughs> Fucking alcoholic. He didn't but mention I that part. I did give him some hydroxy. This is true. Woo! My man's was geek. I was the host with the most. <laughs> well, Sherm so did good, but yeah, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've only taken that one time. Same. And then we we were in Carl's, and I was for some reason I was dead. I was so hungover, and I was just laying on the bar, and I was like, I can't do this intro. And he handed me a hydroxy cut, and he's like, You can do this. Yeah. Oh, I did it. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah! (laughs) Hell yeah! That shit works. A little bit of secret secret sauce. (laughs) For real. For real. I'm not mad at it at all. When you're extremely tired and you have shit to do. Take a couple hydroxy cut. Fucking that'll uh, fix everything. Energy drinks ain't shit compared to that. I tell you what. <laughs> wow. Let me be the fucking uh, the, the member and the and the spokesperson. I was Man. going. Here, for a minute. I swear by that shit. I take that daily. I t- I I wake up. I feel like, like it might kill you. Probably. If you take too much. Probably. I was like, look, I, was- I I take an ungodly amount of of caffeine yes. a a day, like. I counted, it's well over 1,200 milligrams of caffeine. Daily. Yes. That's, uh, Daily. That's a lot. That's one I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> one day the heart just going to go poof. Yeah, I'm not a big I'm caffeine done. person. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink energy drinks. But it takes like 6,000 milligrams to be lethal, so I'm good. <laughs> right. I'm good. So who cares if your heart is a little bit enlarged? No big deal. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah. No, my Fitbit lets me know if my heartbeat is irregular. You just stop taking it then. Okay, water. Right. Take water. Yeah. So, I'll keep going. Yeah, go ahead. You put me onto some shit. I never tried it. Uh huh. What was that salad shit you had? A fatouche. A fatouche. <laughs> fatouche. What, what is the main ingredients in a fatouche? Steak and salad. I had no, like, oh, you had a fucking salad full of meat. Yeah, it was, it, a meat it, salad. Was, it was beef. They usually come uh, with the popular one is chicken, but I'm uh, every time I get chicken, it's always fucking dry. So, so yeah. I didn't want it. So I always get beef or steak. They can do shrimp. Mm-hmm. I've seen salmon, yeah. but it, it's it's good. looked good. It, it, it smelled okay, but I didn't try it. The dressing is what makes it. So the, the fatouche is just named based off the dressing, of course. So besides that, it's just a salad. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. But the dressing is what makes it a fatouche, and it's so fucking good because it's like a like a lemon like 
vinaigrette type deal. Uh, I, it's so fucking I was, good. I might have been intimidated, but I just played it off like, oh, I don't want this shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you got to try one one day. Uh-huh, for sure. Yeah. It, I, I remember we took a trip when we filmed uh, the All That I Know music video. Oh, okay. man. We, we went out to Insaney's house, and we had our boy Dennis shooting the video. So me, Bake, Zitro, Dennis, and Insaney. I, I got the pictures and of that fatouche. I'll we, put them right here. We, we went okay. to uh, this uh, this restaurant, and me and Insaney don't eat that shit. We're looking at the menu. Me and him well, both it, yeah. ordered a fruit smoothie. Uh, <laughs> You know what oh, I ordered? Oh, I ordered a Coca-Cola. Lame. I know. He almost <laughs> stole it. Yeah. Well, we were like, we had a mis- miscommunication of who was paying. I was like, I right. don't care. I'll pay. And then Sherm's like, I got it. And and then Sherm didn't pay for it. And the guy's like, what about this? That, that, right. Like, that guy was on it. He was like, here's my $2.09. Give me, give me my 99 cents. Right. Good times. Man. Good times. But yeah. Fucking one day. Oh, no. We did. I got to elaborate more on that fucking fatouche. So the one that we had during that video shoot, they never tell you how big the fucking fatouche really is. No. Okay? So I get a large because usually I can finish the fucking large. When they brought this bitch out, oh, before that, they said, I asked for a steak fatouche. And they were like, well, we don't really have, like, steak strips, but we have the steak kebab chunks that we can throw in there. Okay. I'm like, okay, that sounds good let's try that so they brought it out it was a big ass fucking bowl i swear to god this shit was bigger than my fucking head okay <laughs> and on top of that was these giant chunks of steak how, so denver's bowl was big to me how big was this compared to that it was about the same like circumference uh, but fuller but deeper Oof. yeah yeah. Did you, did you finish it? I did. Oh, my God. I did. Dude, we're going to talk about you forever, man. <laughs> now you're getting me into the ribs. <laughs> yeah. I have never seen a motherfucker eat like that. It took you five minutes, dog. I timed that shit. I finished a whole slab gone. of ribs. This shit was gone, man. I, I Twice. Yeah. <laughs> the first time I couldn't really finish it because yeah. I, I, I got full. It, breakfast is always the hardest thing mm-hmm. for me to mm-hmm. eat. I had breakfast ribs. What the fuck he, does that? Dude, he he put us, sh- me and Sherm were put to shame by this guy. <laughs> He's just smashing his crazy ass food. We're eating like bullshit eggs. He's like, ah, oh, let me get this. Big old thing of fucking ribs hanging off the plate and shit. Like, oh my God. So good. I, I love ribs so much. Yeah, I, and I've never ever thought about getting ribs for breakfast. Like it's just, <laughs> like it's not even an option in my brain. So I'm just going here going, I mean, it was yeah. there. It was I, there. It was there. So was I'm like, like, okay. And that's what I said. I'm like, okay. I see. Yeah. yeah some motherfucker rolls. <laughs> all, right, all right. I am a true carnivore. Dude, for real. You ain't playing. No, not at all. Man. Clean in the bones. Yeah. Cartilage and all. I'll eat it. <laughs> for real. Even that's on funny. chicken. Like, when I get, like, chicken wings, like, wing dings and shit, I'll clean the Long. fucking bone. Cartilage and all. Damn. <laughs> I like it. It adds a little extra texture. People are like, how the fuck? That crunch, I can't do it. I love it. I fucking love it. <laughs> and like I said, I was there, so I'm like, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, this is happening right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll tear some fucking ribs up. <laughs> what do you got going on, though, man? Uh, well, me and him head to Indiana tomorrow for a show. Yeah, Bobby Doe's birthday. Tomorrow. Bobby Doe's birthday party. I wish if the shoot was on a Saturday, I could show up. I work to like, 6 o'clock on weekdays. It's a three-hour drive. I can't. I use can't PTO for tomorrow because I knew I was going to be here tonight and I was going to be here late. Yeah. And so, like, I was like, fuck it. I might as well use PTO so I can sleep in, not feel like shit. You sleep? And, Come on, bro. Uh, uh, Todd no. wakes me up. On, on off days, Todd will let me sleep till like, 9 a.m. He knows. He's like, uh, dad likes to sleep. Yeah. Oh, Emmy well. don't give a fuck, though. Like, she don't wake me up on a regular basis, but when she has to go outside, she don't give a fuck. No, no, no. What what yeah. else what else do you guys have? Like I'll start with you guys. I'm gonna interview you guys a little bit. So you got tomorrow, both of you. Yeah. What else do you have for the year? Show wise? Show wise. I just uh tomorrow in uh Jaeger Slam. Nope. How about you? Uh same plus the uh you burlesque. You're on the burlesque? Yeah, I'm on okay. that. And I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. I mean there's you know like nope. two and a half months left and you got But next year? No, next year I'm not doing a lot at all. I'm going dark. Yeah, 
I'm only going to be focusing on the big shows like The Gathering okay. and then Jaeger Slam and Unity Fest, whatever the case. But unless somebody wants to like pay me money to book yeah, me, fair. yeah, that's it. But I'm not doing no more. I feel hey, like, just come out. I feel like I'm there too at this point in my life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been there, done that. But I'm only doing it to focus on my music and, mm-hmm. and then building myself to, to finish all these fucking albums and, and collabs and shit. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes like show wise, less is more, you know? Yeah. Like you can't oversaturate things. Like, yeah. Guess what? Who's playing tonight? Zitro. And who's playing tomorrow night? Zitro. Oh, Zitro, yeah. Zitro. Again, oh, it's great. Like, it's great. People love to see it. But it's like the next time you're doing a show, people aren't gonna really like. I can catch them next time. I'm not gonna catch them this time. Right. Yeah. So you know, it's probably a good thing to take a little bit, a bit of a break. So that's why I'm doing it. That way, I can get videos and shit done. You this show's gonna be on everything, correct? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. I'm the same way. Like even though I've been, not, I haven't been doing shit. I want to build myself to where I have that value that I had a couple years ago. Okay. Yep. Um, and the way to do that isn't by jumping on a bunch of shows because. The people going to those shows, unless I'm like going to like other states and shit mm-hmm. like that, but locally the people at these shows for the most part know who I am. And you still have to be careful, like just because it's an out of state show doesn't mean it's gonna be popping. Like uh, yeah. that too. Yeah. And I spent way too much money and time like doing shit like that, and yeah. I go out of state for a show that you know there's 25 fucking people there or whatever. And yeah. I mean it's cool. I have fun. I love doing this, but like. When you have bills and a fucking life and shit like that, you can't be doing that all the time. Right. Like, I remember the uh, the Insane E release show. I that showed, was great. I showed up just in time to catch you guys, and yeah. I was so happy. Like, damn, yeah. I thought, cause we thought we were going to miss you because it was the same thing. It was like, I didn't even know you guys were coming. Right. It was yeah. like a Friday, so it's like I have to book ass. I had to get out of work and shoot straight to Cleveland, basically. Yeah. Uh, or Akron. That's right by Cleveland. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm going to miss everybody I know, and maybe I'll catch E. I got there as soon as you started. I'm like, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. The crowd was dope for that. So it was, it was a dope yeah, show. It, it was, was very good. You guys very good. In another state. Yeah, I, I want to I wanna learn a bunch of shit for next year. Like, I, I got this nice camera, fucking all this equipment mm-hmm. and shit at the house. Like, I need to use it. Like, Maximize it. it. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, I like it. I, for too long, like, I, I don't want to say, like, I depend on my boys or whatever, but, like, I get the most inspiration and motivation when I'm hanging out with my boys. So I kind of just like rather make music when I'm with them, mm-hmm. which the older we get, we can't be hanging out like that. So I need to just push myself to like do shit on my own like I used to. It's all to. Bake's fault because he wants to be on the road so goddamn much. I thought he was coming home after the show. He's like, I'm going on the road. I know. I'm we like, were what talking do you about mean? it. And he's yeah. like, they're, they're, they're talking me into staying. He's like, I'm tired. I'm like, motherfucker, <laughs> you're young as shit. You can't be tired. Right. You're young. Uh, you ain't got no kids. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fucking A. My kids hold me back from traveling like mm. that because I got to take care of them. I right. got three dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Winston's a G, though. Win- yeah. Hell yeah. But he gets bullied by the little he ones. He does. That's they why run the house. He, he could fuck them up, but he's just too kind. Yep. Right. <laughs> no, he, he tolerates it. And what's funny is, like, he he acts like he's so miserable, especially with Todd, because Todd basically grooms him. Like, it'll, <laughs> it'll be middle of the night, too. Todd Grooming. will jump in my bed and start licking the shit out of Winston, like, cleaning right. him up, and it's I'm disgusting. assuming you mean the face, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, like, it's terrible. Making sure. Some and, dogs and, are, like, you know. Just making sure. And Winston yeah. will huff and puff and, like, kind of growl once in a while. Yeah. But that that day that, uh, that, that thing happened to Todd and I had to <laughs> take him to the emergency vet, I, I was watching my camera at home. Him and Emmy were going fucking nuts. And when we got home, uh, I let them outside, and, and, like, I was trying to keep them separate. Mm-hmm. Emmy and Winston didn't want nothing to do with us. Despite being gone all day, they wanted to go check in on Todd. And, make, and that's what I, I let them inside, and they sniffed them up. And I feel like Todd might be the peacemaker in that group. He's like, yo, keep everyone in check. Right. I'll yeah. fuck with you, but you better not fuck with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. Awesome. I'm a cat dad, so I got cats. How many cats you got? I had one for fucking years. One turns into two. And turns now into my daughter <laughs> decides that uh, she's wanting to take in another one. So now we have two. That's not terrible. I had two at one point. I know, but I only wanted one. Fuck, at one point in time, I had I the three not, dogs and two cats. I was not going to get another Nightmare. cat after she passed away. Mm-hmm. And it's getting to that point. My cat is 16. Oh, yep. Yeah. Elder. Yeah. The elder dragon of cats. So now we just brought in a kitten mm-hmm. who's nope. six months. Now you're stuck for another now 16. Like, Another sweet 16. Yep. God damn. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. 
And wow. new kitten to go with the new baby. They get to grow together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I got a baby. <laughs> I mean, we kind of talked about it. Yeah. It's been a while. He's got another baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and she's doing good. She's getting fat. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, I'm late to the party, so congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she's two months. Oh, shit. Almost three months. So, damn, so she was born just before. Right Orphan. around the gathering. So, she was due the day after the last day of the gathering. But then she came a week and a half early. All right. So. I mean, yeah. That made your gathering a little bit more. It did. It made doable. it better. Now, yeah. now I wasn't gonna be stressed and worrying that I was gonna miss the birth. Yeah. So yeah. We could have missed. B- a- R- <laughs> shout out to B. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Shout out to everybody. That shit. That shit would have been a lot better if we had the fucking TV working. Right. So Chris Calico is about to go on, right? Yeah. Dizzy Wright just ended. Yep. Dizzy's dope. I right. fucking love Dizzy Wright. Tell, tell Dizzy Wright to come over here. I haven't seen Dizzy since, like, funk volume. Like, yeah. He looks totally different. Yeah. I, like, that's him. <laughs> it's been that fucking yeah. long, dude. He's got hair. And I'm talking, like, early yeah, funk volume. Is. When they had just put that basketball jersey on, that's what everybody had on. Yeah. That orange yeah. and black one. Yeah. yeah that's, that's the era I knew him in. So why do you wear red? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Answer it. I know. The people want to know. I mean, I wear black and white. The people know. I don't know. I, I'm naive. I, I got a whole song called Red Bandana. Well, that's because you right. wear it. Yeah. Talk about it. I do have a, another, a new song coming a week from tomorrow, the 25th of October. So you have a song on the 25th and the 31st coming Yes, out? sir. God damn. You're actually nice. Yeah. Not, I do talk shit, but I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Next week's song is called "Bottle." When the bottle runs dry. Oh, that's that's rough. Yeah. I hate it when that happens. It's never a good that's time the when worst. the bottle runs yeah. dry. That's why I'll, you gotta buy two. That's when you gotta. I'll drink the I too. only got a problem when the bottle runs dry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's you terrible. Have, you don't have to worry about the bottle running dry. During Not right now. Sober my October. bottle is dry as yeah. fuck anyway. So. No, his bottle's full. Wait yeah. to Wait. be dry. So 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 okay. I'm admittedly behind on the podcast. I'm salty because I was on the very first episode. You were on episode zero. Zero. Well, it was episode one at the time. Yeah. Then it turned into zero, which means that That's we my fault. If I wasn't sleeping that night, that would have been an actual number one episode. You had the best. But the fact that I was out. You had the best clip when you came in. Yeah. And we used those. Yeah. That, that clip's in the. Yeah. So, Anyways. You, but, <laughs> if, if you want. I do. <laughs> I, I, I can put your whole clip in this episode. Oh, right here. Do you want me to? Wait, do you yeah, want me to? Yes. Okay, we'll put the whole clip. Or or you can put the audio only. I don't care. The audio is what... I think the audio... No. No, no you got to have the video. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that he's bringing it back. We haven't said that yeah, so long. No, for sure, we kind of let it, let it go away. My memory is it's when it comes to shit like that. We, we had it on every episode up until, like, episode 10, and then we kind of just stopped. Yeah. Kind of like I was, uh, I was Hestio Cars at your house. I was hyped because you guys were posting that shit before that first one was supposed to come out. Yeah. But then you guys put your first episode, and I'm like, where is seven, it? Seven minutes? That's it? I was there for, like, three hours. What the fuck happened? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was fucking wasted, but I was, like, good wasted, so, like, not sloppy, shitty wasted, like... Happy go lucky. Let's fucking do this way. Yeah, oh, that was bad. I walked in that back door, sat down in the chair, grabbed a fucking microphone. I was like, "What's up, yo?" We went to town. <laughs> we touched so many topics. I don't even remember half the shit. Cause like I said, I was gone. That's why I, I, I want to hear it. I want to. Yeah. Last I thing I remember is someone was in the bathroom, so I went outside and was on my hands and knees in the grass, and I puked. Oh. And then I was waking up on the couch, like looking around, like what the fuck? Yeah. Oh. I, didn't I, don't, know I don't remember none of that. I don't remember you going that hard. <laughs> Me it, either. It just happened. Yeah. <laughs> I just turned around and he was fucked. <laughs> Sometimes, okay, oh, I'm the Jaeger man, okay? Yeah. Sometimes I really wish I could just throw up and feel better. I can't throw up like that. So, like, I just feel like play dog shit. I, like rarely, I rarely throw up. So when it gets to that point, like... Like you, driving home Sunday, look, I you, thought I was still drunk. You want to know what helps make you throw don't up? Don't tell me it's... it's no, 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 no. It's a, it's a legit thing that I actually do when I'm trying to force myself to throw up. 
Wow. Are we talking? We're getting deep. I didn't believe it. Yes. No, no, no. I don't fucking stick my finger okay, down my okay, throat. Okay, good. The finger no. fucks his throat. Okay. But when, when you actually go into the bathroom uh-huh. and hug the toilet, nope. smell it. Yeah, breathing in that. The toilet? That aroma. Smell the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> no, that does. He, he ain't lying. <laughs> like, you it can be a clean the toilet. You can be a clean toilet, but just like that smell of toilet water will bring, you, bring it yeah. out. Yeah. Does this work sober too, probably? I, I Dude, I've not. never tried it oh, sober. Good grief. But it really helps when you're fucked up. I've you're just never like, tried oh, God. That, but it does seem to make sense, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it works. Because I've done it multiple times and I pop out the bathroom I, like, I'm yeah. ready. Yeah, like, so, like, growing up, like, I, you know, everyone went to their parties when they were teenagers and shit. Yeah. yeah. And, like, I'd go to these parties and I'd see people get way smashed, way worse than I was. Yeah. They'd go to the bathroom. And they come out like, yeah, let's go. And they're fucking smashing more shit. I'm like, God damn. How? Yeah. Why? I did that my 21st birthday. <laughs> I <laughs> I haven't done that since. Man, like, <laughs> that's the only thing I've always been like envious of. I'm like, God, damn, I could just like restart. Oh, yeah, but but no, I'm, I'm like waterlogged with all this. Alcohol, I remember my, my 23rd birthday because it's fucking. Two years ago. <laughs> It's fucking documented. It's on YouTube. Okay, where at? Your your page? Someone's page? Type in. <laughs> Hemix. We'll, we'll Hemix put a, page somewhere. We'll put a link up. I don't know the link. I'm not doing it. No, oh, we're not doing oh, it. Oh, come on. But um, it was back in the day. Hey! It was back in the day when Bacardi 151 was still out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So for my birthday, he decided. Is this the video to, you showed me? I don't know. Probably. I, I don't know if I did. But Hemic Hemic lined up. Five shots in a row of 151. He was like, do it. It's your birthday. Regular shots are like big old boys. Like, they keep no, pouring regular me one out. Yeah, they keep. Here. This is a shot, apparently. That, that's a drink. That's like a yeah, that's sherm a drink. shot. That's a like, drink. Yeah, they're giving me a cup fulls of this. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. Is that Pierre Jaeger? There's a little bit of Red Bull, kind of. <laughs> there's you a can, splash You can, of like, Red kind Bull. of taste it, but not really. It's what the mostly fuck? Eating. Yeah, they're heavy, heavy pouring. Thanks, Mike. Oh, trust me, I know, <laughs> I know. Yeah. This place will fuck you up yeah. for uh, for years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I started taking the shots, right? Okay. I get hit one, boom. Two, boom. <laughs> three. <laughs> this is consecutive. One, two, three, right? Okay. Back to back. Whew. I couldn't get past three. Back to back. I took that third shot. No chaser. And I'm like, right? No chaser. Yeah. Right back into oh, the shot. No. <laughs> I'm like, fuck that shit. 151 is no hoe. No, you cannot no. take no shots of that shit back to back like that. There's no fucking way. I, I tried Jameson one time. Yeah, that shit's gross. I got one shot down, no problem. Second shot, I'm like, okay, that's got to be it. And it was my boy's birthday, and that was his drink. And I and that's where I had to have one with him. Nope. Oh, it came right, right back. I can't do Jameson. I can't do wild turkey. I remember I had a, a uh, shot of wild turkey before. Wild turkey. Oh, God. my fucking God. Damn. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I, you know what I say fuck also? Southern Comfort. No, oh, SoCo's good, bro. No, fuck, fuck that off. shit. SoCo's good. I've, Hell I've never, no. I've never really fucked with it, but uh, I've smelt it, and it didn't really. No, mix. SoCo's good. You mix it with some Dr. Pepper and some mix Coke. It, sure, but. That was the first thing I've ever gotten wasted from. Never again. Never the fuck again. I I got so trashed, like I couldn't even get a grip on life. <laughs> and I remember in Oklahoma, I had a bottle of Soco. I don't know why I had a bottle of Soco, but I did. And uh, I got scum to take a shot of it. We were. It was like middle of the night. We were tore uh. the fuck up. And like this is what I had. And I, so I was like, it was gathering 09. We were there for day zero, which I never do. We're there for day I zero. I was there. I got out and I was just walking around you know, the parking lot. At, it was Cave and Rock. We're in that big parking lot before they let people in. And we're just partying. People are just whatever, hanging out. This motherfucker gave me this bottle. Didn't tell me shit. He's like, yo, here, want a shot? Like, Fuck yeah. Smash it. Like big ass fuck. Like my mouth is full. Like you know, my cheeks are full. That that gathering made me mad. This is what happened. What what was it? The Moonshine. Oh. Well, that's fine. Nowadays, it would be laced with acid. It was like it was like a hundred proof or some shit. Uh huh. It killed. I, I couldn't breathe. I thought I was gonna die. Well, moonshine. I think probably one like one ninety proof. Well, yeah, whatever the I don't know. Because that's that's what Andy had when my, he went my, to fucking I was St. Louis. Sweating. I was almost heaving. 
Because I should have had just a little shot. Like a shot would have yeah. been fine. I just went like, bam, bam, bam. That bam, had bam. to have been 190 proof. Uh, I thought I was going to die. My, it, my, if it was my, one shot, that was 190. I thought my fucking heart was going to stop. I had to lay in my Dude, car. When, when Andy did that, that shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Bro, because Andy had Everclear, 190 proof. Okay. Okay. He had a cup similar to that, okay. right? So imagine if that's what I call a shroom shot. So yeah. imagine if this cup was full yep. and Andy drank that lot. much, oh, that man. much of Everclear, he was fucked. Yeah. Yep. Fuck. He, he chugged fun. it at the hotel. By the time we got to the venue, he was trashed. This was, this was like, okay, the first 15 minutes I got out of my car and had this shot, my night was over. It was over. I was done. I had Jaeger in the trunk. I'm a player. I'm a I'm player. Oh, I'm a player. I'm a player, I'm a player, I'm a player. It's taking me back 20 oh, years. Oh, 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 I'm a player. <laughs> Kelly, baby, is a player. <laughs> I can't believe he's actually performing that. That's nope. crazy. Oh, yeah. Chris Kelly goes to shit. Anyway, um, I was going to say something else. Fuck. What the fuck was I going to Oh, 2009 gathering. That was the gathering where Ying Yang Twins got booed off stage. Ah, I was so mad. I was so heated. Mind you, I, I was with at the time, right? <laughs> uh, wait. I think you were. No. Not in 2009. I was with Hammock. Okay. Um, it was 2007 gathering. I was with Okay. Did, um, you, did you make the shirt? I, it's... I designed it. No, no. Did you... Is your name on the back of that shirt? Like, in 07, they... The gathering shirt had everybody that performed. I was at the bomb house, so probably uh, not. Everybody was on the shirt. Oh, then maybe. I have the shirt, so I'll look. It would it wouldn't have said it. It would oh. have said Zitro and Nope. Fair. Because that's how we submitted. That would be dope. I look. Um But yeah, look, that'd be dope. Um So after they got booed, I was so fucked up, so drunk. <laughs> drunk. And I was like, You were drunk. I was <laughs> I was like, fuck this shit. That's fucking bullshit. I wanted to see the Yin Yang twins. And I stormed off. Hemick is chasing me down like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going back to the camp. There was bushes by main stage. And in those bushes was barbed wire. Oh, boy. I was so drunk, didn't I didn't see, see the barbed wire. And I just wanted to beeline to the fucking campsite. You went right through it. I went right through. I didn't even know it was barbed wire. I was so drunk. I'm I'm crawling through the fucking bushes, right? This is why you wear red. And I'm 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 <laughs> getting caught. And I'm like, what the fuck am I stuck on? <laughs> and I'm getting mad. And Hemick's like, you're in barbed wire. I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm not. And I fucking no, must, not. I yeah. muscle my way through the bushes. I make it through. And after I get out, he's like, he's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Let's go back to camp. I'm pissed. He's like, hold on. Let me look at you. So he's looking at me. I'm covered in fucking blood. <laughs> I was so fucked. And I didn't even realize it. He's like, do you know what you just walked through? I was like, the bushes. He's like, no, barbed wire. I'm like, oh. Metal bushes. That's why I'm bleeding. He's it was, like, are you okay? It was very thorny. I don't understand why. I was like, yeah, I'm good. How do you even feel it? <laughs> yeah, good times, good times. But yeah, so that's my 2009 story of nice. the gathering. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to do this more often. Like, we'll just pick a, <laughs> pick a thing we've been to, you know. We could talk about, I don't even remember what year it was, but the year of the worm is what I call it. When we were just lit. There was a couple years. When, when I was with you, though. 2018? Might have been. been. That was Oklahoma. No, I wasn't in Oklahoma. So then 2019? Might have been. Like, remember the last after party thing? We just got on stage and started dancing like drunken fucks. 2019? Yeah. Was that yeah. Woodstock, maybe? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because I remember in, in 2018, I tested out that tequila. I was like, let me bring one bottle. That's when you became, goes. A, he then, became yeah. a fan. And yes, then 2019, I brought five bottles. That was a fun game. I remember, I remember yeah. you had to go, like, I have to go back to the room and get one. We're all drunk. All drunk yeah. as shit. Yeah. You're like, I, I was, I was on one. shrooms that uh -huh. night. I was like, why didn't you just bring them all? Like, what's wrong with you? Oh, man. They're at the room. I'm like, fuck that, man. I have everything in my trunk. What's wrong with And then you? you gave a bottle away this year. <laughs> I know. I gave a bottle away this year. I was up. losing my goddamn oh, God. mind. <laughs> <laughs> 
fuck? Yeah, yeah just take it. <laughs> y'all gotta just stop giving me shrooms. I'm, I'm going back to acid. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Goddamn. Shrooms is too much. Dude, yeah, those shrooms were strong. They kind of kicked my ass for a little bit, but I was like, I need to keep my composure. Yeah. <laughs> we can't all be freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> and we all took from the same batch. Yeah. I don't know how I got the shitty end. <laughs> But everyone's man. strips are a little bit different, though. Like, you can have the same batch, and, like, one person will be great, and the other one will be I, My trip drink. unlocked my ADHD to its fullest potential. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. Oh, my God. I was losing my mind. <laughs> I was so hype and so tired at the same time. I'm like, it, yeah, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I admittedly got uncomfortable yeah. for a little bit. Yeah. I just... I tried to hold it. I was just quiet. Your I, inner hissio came out. I'm so tired. <laughs> Let me just take a, nap. Let me take a nap right now. Oh, my God. I could sleep right now. Then I went back to the room, and I started cooking fucking food, and I made myself a sandwich, and then I went to bed. You know, like I'm telling you, like growing up and, and touring for all the years that I did, I'm like, yeah, fucking sleep when I'm dead. I'm kind of with you now, though. Like Now it's like, you know what? Sometimes you just need to sleep. Yeah. Because it makes you more yeah. hype for the next event. Exactly. Yeah. So, but now I'm unemployed. Woo! Yeah. Now you're a full-time rapper. Yeah. yeah. And podcaster. I know. It's going to be great. I'm back on my bullshit. <laughs> we're, we're expecting uh, your From output. 06 to 08. <laughs> your output will be way bigger now. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, not good, sure. but okay. But that's why I'm going dark. So I can focus on releasing all this music. I'm 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 going to pull a fucking Say it. I know what you're thinking, maybe. I'm going to pull a Ouija. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, okay. Motherfucker, listen. I'm not a fan, but I don't hate him. He put out a fucking good ass CD at the gathering. He's put out like two more since then. It's like a month later. I know. Unfucking real. He doesn't stop. I don't know how yeah. he produces so much Unbelievable. content. Unbelievable. I don't understand and, and, it. And, and, Shout I thought I thought Tech Nine was dope for no. dropping an album yeah. every six months, and all his shit's but consistent. It sounds good. It's it's all on the level. So, props to that motherfucker. Hate me all you want, whatever. I give props where it's due. I don't give a fuck about politics and all that shit. But like, wow. Yeah. Like, no doubt. And then shout out to Devereaux because that motherfucker can make a beat. Woo. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm glad they do put the drops in because I don't know who the fuck does shit until they do that. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh shit! I, I, right. I met him at the gathering. I can I can usually tell. Uh-huh. Nowadays, now I can. Yeah. Um, he does have. A, I mean, the sound. You know the sound. Now him and uh, Shaggy the Airhead are starting to sound the same. But, but, yeah, and that's. But that's and it's like, oh the, man. Yeah, they're doing everything. I know. That's, I mean, good for them, but. And still. then they collab on shit, that's and then weird. it's like, yeah, like uh, Devereaux the Airhead. Like, whoa. <laughs> But yeah, dude, stack that shit up. And, and I'm going to. I'm going to. I know that people have put out, you know, a single, single, single. But, like, we're talking EP, album, Because album, what's EP. crazy is, the, the boys know, mm-hmm. uh, a couple months back, there was a producer that was going out of business. Okay. Right? He was selling his entire library, 1,200 beats for super low. I bought them. I bought them. I got the the track outs and everything, so I have full control. They're, I I can monetize them. They're mine. So I'm about to go to fucking town. I haven't even been able to get through all the beats yet. I got through like maybe 500 of them. Jesus Christ! 1,200 is a lot to go through. Yeah, and I'm still finding I new be beats. I stacking like Tupac. Right. <laughs> got CDs and CDs. I'll be for real. Yeah. Real. Like awesome. I'm never gonna run out of beats. I've been I've been like trying to just give beats away. Like, hey, bro, like you want Here. a couple beats? Get they, on the, I'm not gonna use them all. Yeah, jump on this one. <laughs> so we're about to get Whitney Payton on the podcast. We got, we got Whitney. Let, let me get out hey. of the way. Let me get the fuck out the way for this. I mean, we got another beat. one. Just, hey. I just came in hot. I, hell yeah. We seen that last one uh, with you and Calico. We got the little TV yeah. here to watch everything. Hell yeah. So so we don't miss Y'all watch nothing. watch it on TV. Yeah. There, now I can hear y'all. What's up? 
So Whitney, what's I going invaded. on? I just invaded. Y'all invaded my set. So yeah, now I just invaded yeah. your It's only show. right. Yeah. Right. Hell yeah. So how you feeling? How's tour? I feel good. Did you guys feel like it was nostalgic? Like you TP'd a house or something during oh, the set? You're like, cool. oh, this is what it felt like. When a little, I was, little bit. A little I, bit. Honestly, it brought me back to, uh, I forget which gathering it was, but I got to do that for you at the, at oh, the one gathering. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is cool. It's and, like a rite of passage. That's oh, right. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta do it. They throw Fago, I throw like TP. Yeah, I, I was a lot more nervous at the gathering because if I fucked it up, I feel like they were gonna throw something back at me. So it's a little she more. She throws tame herself and... at the crowd too. Hell yeah, yeah. I'm not afraid. I'm not, I feel like you have to go 100. percent With the gathering, it's just kind of like I'm not scared. Like I'm one of you guys. I'm out here with yeah. you, and it's 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 much better that way. That's why. Oh, definitely. Hell yeah. I feel like when you're kind of like too. I don't know, bougie or anything. Oh, I think yeah. that's that's the only thing that went wrong with Riff Raff, I would say. I think he was a little too, oh, my shoes are too nice yeah, and everything's too nice. My hair. Yeah, he should have came <laughs> just with some, like, Walmart shoes and shit like that. Right. Someone should have told him ahead of time, like, yeah. hey, just come with shit. You don't care if it gets fucked up. This is what it's for. Yeah. It's going to get fucked up. I got shot with, like, or you know those Orbeez? I was just about to say the same thing. I was getting, uh, yeah, I was on top of the crowd, and I was getting shot with something. I thought it was Kool-Aid or something at first, because I was like, what is this? It's like, Red and it's, like, dying my clothes, and yeah. it wasn't Fago. And I was like, someone was like, oh, it was a bunch of Orbeez and shit. Yeah. I was like, who the hell thought of this? Yeah, I was getting shot in the face by fucking Orbeez. Uh, oh, Orbe you got shot yeah, in the face. Yeah. yeah, constantly. It was yep. <laughs> they, they were good. They were a dead shot. They Just got sticking me. sticking in your contacts. And yeah, shit like yeah. That. It was oh, so. No. It was so bad. And I seen the guy, and I pointed at him. I'm like, I got you, bitch. <laughs> they would just shoot me and you gotta just rap through it or else yeah, yeah but then when you do is when they're like alright yeah. can't even knock it <laughs> yeah. it was all good though so yeah, how's, how's this tour treating you so far it's good this is only like week two of it you know so this is like the seventh or eighth show uh, so we did like New Mexico and uh, yeah everything like that we go to Chicago next uh, nice. so we've done some Texas shows I have, here. I have a question uh, cause I've seen the clips that it looked like you were performing at a pool party Oh, um, yeah, that was beforehand. Well, well, yeah. yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what yeah. was that? That was in Palm Springs. It's called the Dina, and it's just like a massive uh, pool party, you know, mostly women. And it was just like crazy. Because, too, at the hip-hop shows, we don't see a whole lot of women. So sometimes when I'm asked to play more of these, like, women pool parties, I'm like, yeah, I know I'm a female artist, but, like, I perform in front of mostly dudes. So sometimes right. I'm like, is this going to be like, what? Is, they're going to be like, what is this? Like, is this a little too hard for them or what? <laughs> But no, they were cool. No, it was dope. They looked hype. That was yeah, super hype. Yeah, got in there. <laughs> Luckily, I had the wherewithal to pull off my in-ear pack. Like, I had an in-ear pack, and I, like, threw it before I jumped in because everyone was like, oh, my God, the sound guys must hate you. And I'm like, well, it was all my equipment. But luckily, yeah. I had the wherewithal to pull it off of me because, yeah, I jumped in that pool. And that's not – I didn't think that through. That wasn't, like, a thought-out thing. Right. So, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, fuck yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, people are like, did you plan this? I'm like, I don't plan half the shit I do, right. no. You know, nope. aside from the things we're throwing out in the crowd or whatever, right. yeah, but that's yeah. about it. And then, you know, all the jumping out and stuff. I'm just reading the room. Right. Yeah, all in the moment. Yeah, in the moment. Because yeah. sometimes you don't want to do it depending on what's going on. Right. Right. So, like, I think my scariest one was the, the gathering where they did the Wizard of the Hood, right? They okay. put me on. That was one of the only times I haven't played the main stage. They actually put me on a side stage, but they put me on right after okay. that set. And I was like, I don't know if this is a great slot or a bad slot, you know what I mean? But it ended up being good. There was, like, no one there, like, it was, like, 10 minutes before I was supposed to go on. And they were going over their time, you know oh, what yeah, I mean? Okay. You feel me? They were, I could hear them on the main stage going over their time. And then, like, it ended, like, right before my set was supposed to start. And I was like, oh, I feel like no one's going to be in front of the stage for the set. And then it was, like, the zombie apocalypse. Like, I seen them all coming over the hill. Hell yeah. And, but, like... And I crowd surfed and stuff during that set, and I rode out on a big, like, uh, rubber duck, like, raft and shit. But I was low-key pretty scared because I feel like everyone got fucked up for Wizard of the Hood. Everyone oh, yeah. got fucked up for Wizard oh, of the yeah. Hood. Oh, yeah, most definitely. So they were all on acid and shit. I could see their eye, like, their pupils. I was like, oh, no. And that's what helps. Like, I've told oh, other people no. that perform right after ICP, I'm like, that's a good spot. I'm like, because they're still hype after the clowns. Yeah, 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 I thought it was they were going to use all their energy for that, and no. they were going to be, like, too fucked up. So I was like, oh, it could go either way. Right. But it was just like, okay, they were they were ready, and they yeah. were still hype, and they came over in droves, you know what I mean? And luckily still knew 
they were in reality to hold me up and stuff like right. that. Right. Hell, yeah. Hell like, yeah. And it was crazy. That was one that's of the craziest times. That's always a plus. Times. Yeah. That's always a plus. That was a crazy time. That, that's cool that the, the timing worked out. I remember when Tech 9 went over, cause we had to go after Tech 9 one year, and he went way over, and the sound guy just held off until the main stage was and done. And Hopson went over. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But at least they waited. Yep. Okay. No, they, they hooked us up. It was cool. And yeah. it went well? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dope, dope. Yeah. That's we, got, we got fucked up because of me, as always. Him and his tequila. <laughs> you did the set fucked up? No, no. Oh, okay. No. Can you do this? Can you drink tequila and then do the set or no? I can't. Oh, I can't do that either. No, no. there's no way. <laughs> Some I artists have to can be, so. be like wasted and do their set, and I'm like, yeah, Ow. that's wild. I don't know, because I, I rap so fast. Right. It's like I'll I'll, I'll slur everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything. You'd be a mumble rapper. Yeah, all of a sudden. you're <laughs> yeah, like you're no like a way. SoundCloud rapper now. There's no way. But uh, but no, it went it went really well, and uh, yeah, I think that was like. The beginning of something great after that because that was for Grinch music, right? Yeah. Yeah. And okay. man, after that, we fucking skyrocketed. That's awesome. And then That's we got a cease and desist from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> I feel like that means you made it bigger. I feel like you should have yeah. just got that going. Oh, okay, we wanted we, to. You're like, all right, let's go to court, you know, actually. This is great marketing right now. Oh, I agree. Fuck. I totally agree. Because, like, either way. Uh, a the, cease and desist? Yeah. The, we, we, <laughs> what? We, <laughs> what is, is that what you got? <laughs> That's what we got hit with. <laughs> That's we, what they hit you with? Yeah. We <laughs> made a song called that. Oh, That's for real? so yeah. funny. Oh, well, yeah. well I get it from, I've been touring Bake for like 10 oh, years, so, God. you know, we, so got the, we got the puns. Despite the, the cease and desist and all that, I I am glad that we, we we're all able to remain friends and shit like that, especially Bake. Bake's oh, been yeah. fucking oh, helping yeah. us out a lot. Oh, yeah. Over you're the past gonna, few years. I feel like you're going to face stuff like that, though. That, that means you're actually doing stuff. I feel like there's really 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 big artists that have had oh, to face 100%. that oh yeah. yeah and sometimes people just starting out they'll quit because of things like that so yep. you just can't it's a yeah, funny no. story now that you have exactly. ain't no quitting we gotta keep going yeah I feel like Jelly had a song called something or he had like an album or something called something about Waffle House and I feel like he got cease and desist because of it like early oh, yeah. on oh yeah and now look you can't him. say that yeah now exactly exactly him. exactly he was like using the uh logo or something and you can't do it yeah. so and now waffle hey. house is like fuck we should have waited yeah, for real. yeah, yeah. they're <laughs> like we should have teamed up on this one <laughs> but that's what you got to make them do you got to make them regret yeah <laughs> coming yeah. at you but if they're if you're big enough to be on their radar exactly that's a good thing and we did it quick like that happened what five months after we started grinch like Man, it was they're fast. They were on it. They got lawyers on lawyers. Yeah, because we weren't even like a thing for a year. No, <laughs> like not even. No, they're like Disney. Quick. Yeah, hundred percent. They're like well, Disney. They're all. We, we had bad timing because they did that and that newer animated Grinch movie like the same year. So oh, like they so were they were, they were really filing searching. Out. Yeah, yeah. But it is what it is. It was all a learning experience. Yeah, you got to uh, spell it differently or do something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were thinking about spelling it different. Other people spelled it different. Let's see. There you go. <laughs> uh, aside from our shit, what you got going on after this tour? Man, I'm working on a new album because earlier this year, I've been like signing other artists. I kind of tried to yeah. do that thing where I was uh, trying to help put other artists on because here's the thing. like I was signed to Suburban Noise you know, for a minute. Uh, before that, I was signed to Tragic Hero, uh, which is like a rock label. Yeah. So I've been signed to two different deals. And then I was like, during COVID... Um, Suburban Noise tried to resign me, and I was kind of like, um, I really like them, and I like all the artists on the label and everything, but I knew I'm really, really hands-on, and it's kind of, it's like a lot of the things labels have done for me, I've done myself, too. Right. Yeah. Uh, so it's just like, okay, I want to try to put something out on my own platform, so I kind of made my own thing uh, called Alpha House Just Out of Necessity to put out my own music, right. and then I was like, I bet I can do this for other artists, because like my album still charted as high as they would if I was signed to a label or something, so I was like, I bet I could do this with some other artists, so I signed... Astray, who actually came out with me today, yep. he's he was signed to Shady previously, yeah, yeah. and I signed him. And then I signed Willie Northpole, who was signed to Def Jam and uh, Ludacris's label. So I took two major label artists yeah. who really just kind of had their albums fumbled and just helped them put out albums independently. And both of them have charted as well. And they're like, whoa, we Let's didn't go. really see this with the the majors, you know, right. this much effort behind the scenes and stuff because it was really hands on and. I was doing a lot of their graphics myself and different things like that. So I spent a lot of time, I would say, on other people's um, careers this year. And so next year I'm going to be coming out 
uh, with an album finally because it nice. took more time than I thought. I was like, okay, I could do mine and their shit. And I was like, this is, I'm like doing pe three people's careers yeah. right now. So yeah, yeah it, it is a lot, but I, I don't regret it. I wanted to try it and see if I could try my hand at the business side. So yeah. We hey, got you're that. killing it though. Stuff, you're you. fucking Thank killing you. it. Yeah. Thank you. Because I wanted the respect on the business side too, I think. Uh, you know, maybe that's a flaw of mine to try to go after it, you, to just get, be like, no, I will be respected, but uh, be like respected as an artist, but also, oh, okay, she's also not an idiot over here. Like right. she's over here yeah. doing things behind the scenes. No one's propping me up or anything. Yeah. I didn't want uh, any success that I have had to be just given to certain labels. Like, okay, without the label, she wouldn't have had done right. this or that. And I'm like, no, a lot of this I'm like doing behind the scenes, like. They don't realize how hands-on you have to be independently. Right. Um, and I, I think even if you're signed to a major, you should know what the hell's going on. You should oh, yeah. you should have an idea of how to do this stuff. So, too, if you ever do get dropped or anything, you're not completely lost. You're not like, oh, my God, what do I do? So, yeah. 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 That, that was one of the, the major uh, tips that Bate gave me back when I first met him was yeah, outside, yeah. outside of making your own music, make yourself valuable. Find a skill. Yeah. But, so... Yeah, and you should know because too. Then, when as an artist, if you go and ask for a certain thing, you're speaking in their terminology as well because yeah. you've been on that side too. So you're like going to producers. You can talk to them like a producer. You go right. into, you know, talk to the sound guys. You know what to ask, and they're like, oh, okay, they know what they're talking about, yep. and they take you yeah. way more seriously. Or a graphic designer, you know what you're asking for, yep. and they're like, okay, and less people are likely to take advantage of you as well. So exactly. You know. Yep. So, oh, yeah. so that's the advice. Yeah, learn <laughs> learn how to be like a Swiss Army knife. So too. Exactly. God know. damn, I'm still trying to learn everything. I just started doing this shit, and man. And you can't do everything. You can't like you know you try to learn a bunch of different things, and you won't be able to put all your time into just one thing because then nothing right. will be good. You know yeah. what I yeah. mean? Because you'll be spreading yourself too thin. You'll have like all these foundations and no house at the end of the day because you're just exactly. building foundations and never completing something. So. But if you do have to allocate the workout to someone else, you do know a little bit what you're talking about. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You'll eventually need help. Yeah. You'll eventually Yo, I know. need help, but I you'll know. know something about it. You know what I mean? You yeah. don't have to be a absolute expert in everything, but it's good to know a little something. Yeah, you just got, <laughs> I'm trying. just going to be an expert in everything. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to just be an expert. I don't like paying people. I like to do it myself. Yeah. I mean, true. When you get to a certain <laughs> level, you'll have to get the oh, different yeah. help. But yeah, yeah it is it's nice to not have to rely on someone like if something falls through you have someone doing something and then they don't get it on time or whatever to know that you got you still yeah is a good feeling to have exactly and nowadays and like the way things are in hip-hop like if you can go independent that's the way to go like yeah you have major artists trying to like cardi b the migos you know they're all like being independent right now yeah yeah Oh, uh, no, so no, I appreciate you guys. No, 100%. thanks for letting me jump we, in on your podcast, dude. We were stoked when when we saw you coming over here. We were like, hell yeah! Right. Like, I was yeah, like, we're yeah. about to get. Yeah. I was like, no way! Yeah. Like, right. like my podcast going on right now. I was like, oh, where are you guys at? I watch I watch your edits and stuff online all the time nice. with Vake and stuff. And I think yeah. it's super dope. We, so. we appreciate yeah. you. Every Keep time going. you come out, you've always been cool as so. hell. Hell yeah! Thanks, guys. Yeah. No, you guys always participate in my shit, make my shit look better. So I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Maybe we one day I can drive my truck on the gathering stage for you. Set. We were supposed to do that. Oh, no. I know they nixed it. They said, nah, yeah. they're probably afraid we we're going to drive off in the crowd. I don't know what's going on. What? They won't let me have my pyro, nothing. I'm waiting. See, that's the only thing. I love playing the gathering. I'm waiting for that night slot still on the main stage. So I've played the main stage several times. Very, very grateful. I want that night slot Hell because yeah. I want to be able to do some cool lights with y'all with bake and everything like Gathering that. Gathering of legends, make it happen. Yeah, right. we want a night slot. She's a legend. <laughs> For real. She's a legend. I've been there. Yeah, it'll probably be my like ninth or, or ninth one maybe if if I play it. So Hell yeah. that would be dope. Let's get let's get a night slot on main stage, guys. Let's do it. There you go. Hell yeah. <laughs> We're manifesting. Right. right well, Thank you for coming on here. Yeah, no, thank yeah. you a lot. We Hell appreciate yeah. it. Keep rocking it. Detroit. Yeah, let's go. Hell yeah. Much love to Whitney Perry. There we go. Jumping on the we podcast. We got somebody. Hey, that was the goal. Hey. That was the goal. We didn't think it could happen, but you put your mind to it and you try. Hell yeah. You never know what could happen. Never know. So maybe we can get Dizzy Wright. Maybe we can get Chris Calico. Hey. Chris Calico's on stage right now. I don't know where little Dizzy went. He's, For he, some reason, he's upstairs. I seen him walk up there. The, the last time, because I, I I think uh, Whitney was on tour with uh, Ritz and Dizzy right before, and uh -huh. I seen them out in Pontiac. 
Okay. And for some reason, my memory told me that Dizzy Wright was tall as hell. No, I and always <laughs> knew he was short. And I know, but and then I seen him again, like as we were walking in, I was like, "You my size, right?" But, <laughs> Oh, nigga, you, you just like me. What the fuck? <laughs> so, God damn. I, mean, right, I ain't scared of you that, no more. That makes me wonder, is, is Wiz that small? Like, Yes. Uh, really? Yeah. What? Look at this. I'm about to tell you Wiz. right now. Wiz Khalifa height. <laughs> oh, no. 6'4". Oh, he big as hell. Never mind. <laughs> He's Big six four. Look, draft him on the Pistons. <laughs> when the fuck that happened? When he grow? <laughs> when he started lifting weights, he, he started yeah. a growth spurt. I could have sworn that nigga was little. That's okay. <laughs> oh man, uh, I just had him and uh, Wiz Khalifa mixed up. I guess like like everybody else does. Yeah, like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> If I'm, he comes out, we're taking that out. <laughs> like, everything I just said, the best. Now we're said. now we're leaving it in. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. Oh, man, if we can get Chris Calico. That'd be dope. Said he, uh, he comes to his merch booth after his set. And that's his merch booth. Yeah. We right by it. Right. Where's this he gets, right? That's if, his merch if he booth. gets curious and wants to just jump in for a second. Right. <laughs> just jump right in. They're playing some cold songs. Though. Like, I've know. gotten distracted a couple of times because like, Chris Calico is over here playing the hits. 15 minutes later. Yeah, we got Chris Calico right over there. He's trying. We're going to see if we can get him on. That's that's like one of the main goals. Chris Calico and fucking Dizzy Wright. At least we, just to say what's We up. got Whitney Payton. Um, I was pretty confident we were going to get Whitney Payton anyway. This guy. I had no confidence in any of this. I didn't even think we were going to make it this far and get set up. But, but the fact that we set up, we done did a whole show. We had I'm a Whitney fucking, Payton on. I'm a fucking bully. And I get shit done. Mm -hmm. I seen a table, and I'm like, I want it. He I did. got it. He did. I was almost like, you know what? This ain't going to work. We might as well just put it back in the truck. He's no. like, no. No. I'll Hell do no. it myself. <laughs> and he did. Hard work is hard, hard right. to come by. Yeah, yeah. Good work is <laughs> hard to come by. Good work is hard to come by. I, I didn't want to get in trouble. And then, I, and I, didn't Bake, fuck. I didn't either until Bakelo got me on there. He's like, you guys should have really talked to the owner I'm, first. I'm stealing tables. I was like, who's the owner? I'm, I'm drinking other drinks that don't belong in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we normally do that shit anyway. But Not really. I usually spend a lot of money at Diesel. I spend a lot of money, and I also show up with my own twisted tees. Like it's, That's you. <laughs> Sober October. <laughs> <laughs> but God damn. Come on, Chris. Oh, he's doing a whole bunch of signs. Yeah, he's got a lot. God damn it. Yeah. It's going to be a minute. It will. But we'll wait. We'll we wait. got time. Was that the final act? Was that that was done? He, yeah. He's, oh, it's okay. his tour. So, yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't know whose tour it was. His face is on the fucking background, even during Whitney Payton. I didn't even peek. <laughs> I didn't even look at it. R.I.P. Little Peep. <laughs> oh, that was Chris Calico right there. I don't even know. We got him on camera. Did we get him on camera? We'll see in both. Uh, we got like a shoulder and an arm. We got his arm. And we'll do like one of those arrows that says Chris Calico. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see it. Chris Calico. <laughs> Goddamn. So well, we got Whitney Payton. <laughs> we, got, we got Chris Kelly with I, an arm. <laughs> I kept bouncing my knee and shit. I, I, I was trying to like, because like we're all squished in. I know. And then like I'm trying to like, I wasn't prepared for a Whitney Payton interviews. So like, I, I got to think of questions and like have like, a fuck, man. Luckily, Whitney's cool as fuck. So she's easy to talk to. I'm like, yeah. But still, I was over here like, all right, what other questions are going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of shit, but like you just kept with the questions and i'm like all right well, oh I, fuck it I, <laughs> here we go i follow her instagram and uh and, and shit like that she's I one of the two but i don't well, i don't well, i don't follow it follow it well, there's only because of like how little i'm on social media and how little i actually watch people's stories and reels and shit yeah the the few people that i watch are the only ones that really show up on my shit and by the time i see those i'm I already close out like i don't care anymore Right. So I'll see like Bake Lowe's, I'll see yours, I'll see Andy, Whitney Payton, and ICP's been in my fucking feed lately a lot. So yeah. there's that. Fucking Power Dice is walking around here somewhere. Get it, you, you hear that new Pete and Boss? 
They got T Pain on the track. I know. That was the fucking open verse challenge I sent you. That was for that? Yeah. Oh. They're doing a remix, fool. So get on it. They already did. It's with T Pain. Uh, no, another one. Uh, they how? They already have the original version, then they have the remix with T Pain. And they they're doing an open verse after that. How does that work? A re remix. What do you do? Do you gotta download it or do you just like record on your phone? Just okay, so you can download the beat with the open verse from TikTok. Okay. There's a download video option. Huh. You download it, right? Yeah. Just convert it to wave. Upload it to fucking Pro Tools. Record your fucking verse. Mm-hmm. Re-upload it with you lip syncing that and then also tag the song. So you gotta like record a video and like match it like with the 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 just keep it the song. same length as the the track. You don't gotta right. match shit as long as it's the same length. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Uh, I guess. What do you mean? That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> There's no guessing. It's easy. Just have a dope verse and make it sound good. Now's your chance. You only get so one shot. Do not miss your chance the, to blow. With the camera or with the phone? With your phone. To do the video. Yeah. So how do I add the song to the video on the phone? That's what I'm saying. You do that in TikTok. Oh. Yeah. We're learning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try one of these one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a shot. I don't know. Oh, right with Pete and Bosch. Pete and Bosch be snapping, though. Yeah, they do. I hope I'm that cool when I'm old. I better be that cool. I better get that old. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Where did it go, George? Where did it go? Bringing them back. Jojo. Jolo. This fucking guy and his peanuts. We're fucking on camera. No. Is this thing on now? Now it is. Yeah. It's a wrap. Wait, that's, we're literally, wrap it up, B. We're literally wrap right, it up, B. Okay, you wrap need it. to be turned it's down. It's a wrap. Uh, wrap it up. We're waiting on bank load so we can close out properly. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn, I was trying to give you a good wrap it up. Maybe you can edit it. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll add the wrap it up. Yeah, we'll do that. You can cut and switch it. He's, in, he's, he's like, he's you eating fucking peanuts. asshole, you're making more work for me, dog. He's eating peanuts. He ain't want to talk. Such an easy edit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I fucking love Jojo. He ain't even peep what I was doing. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. He just <laughs> <laughs> and this has been no the Hip Hop no. 4 Hours. No, he's coming. He's coming. There up, he is. Up, 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 no. up, up, up. We just want to close it out properly. Yeah. We're going to welcome back Bakelow, everybody. Peace. Been, <laughs> God damn it. Been working hard tonight. Yeah. So we're going to close this episode out the proper way. Sorry for anyone that missed Bakelow this episode. How, how, okay. did, how did it go with uh, Whitney? Dude, Very thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. yeah that was I, I, I asked her, I was like, you know, would you would you mind? And then, like, I fucking forgot. And then she's like, oh, they're doing it right there? I was like, oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> oh yeah, no. That so, was, so she remembers. So she, you got to thank her. No, that was so. cool. She was she was real nice, real cool. Yeah, yeah. As always. Yep. But uh, I'm Histio. I'm Baklo. And I'm Zitro. And this, this is, is the hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the silver teeth suck one <laughs> festival. Shiny teeth, the me crew. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got to remix that. Oh right, yeah. Oh yeah. Right. yeah. All right, we're out. <laughs> It's the hip hop, 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 hip hop,